I don't know how I have 1k in. Super Mario 64 decades later. But how many decades? Uh... <laughs> He's like, uh... Oh, no, dude. It never says. Be, it never I'm really... Here. It never really specifies. So I'd... Oh. Oh! <laughs> There's... I played a little bit of this. I was like, I'm just gonna play a bit, and then I'm gonna stream it, and then I ended up going, wow, this is awesome. I have to keep playing. Oh, that, that, that is my life. With this hack. Well, I'll have you know. This is a very good hack. Okay. Uh... Easy. And look, my stream alerts work now, too. Miraculously. Great. See? Reinstalling Windows was worth it. Everything works better. This is too loud. That's what I remember from last stream. I had my game up a little loud. I had, Morning, to, re I had to do my, uh, my audio balancing all over again. You! It's Brody. The guy who made the hack. He's gonna give me a star. Oh, okay. That way we can go in the castle. Here we go! Not for your deadly Mario Is that an inkling? Yeah. I think it is. I can't climb the ladder. I, I, missed, I missed out on the fun last week. I, am re I have returned. Yeah, can you believe this guy? Kill him! <laughs> How dare you. The camera is a little weird if you don't go into Mario mode in this hack. Sometimes it'll get stuck, but I mean, like, that was also Mario 64. Oh. I mean, to be fair... I'm sure people have done ROM hacks that doesn't... That Mario 64 never intended to put you in some situations that ROM hacks do. Yes. So I... I, I I'm not too hard on hacks that have camera issues because it's not really... Uh, no of you, the, uh... The entire idea is that this hack takes place, or the levels are all here from, like... I don't know, hard to explain, but you'll, you'll get the idea when you see, like, the uh, the decor, right? So they turn Princess Peach's castle into yeah. a... bigger castle. Hey, hey, look, it's the bomb battlefield, but now it's a city over a valley. No question, are these... The Mushroom Kingdom, is the fortress taking you to another part of the Mushroom Kingdom, or is this like this? I do not know. What I will say too is that the level layouts are somewhat similar, but they're, they have a lot of alterations. Uh, you only need 80 coins for a star, and only 6 out of 8 red coins for a star for the red coins. Oh, that's weird. 80 coins. 80, yeah. I, I assume it was to make it easier to, to do. I mean, that, but why 80? That's just weird. Make it like 75. Why 75? Because it's 25 less. Holy shit, they went ham? Yeah, they did. Oh. Also, when you step on this, you can see where the blue coins will spawn. That's really helpful. You've got to admit, that's some nice QOL, right? Yeah, but I've seen that in another. Oh yeah, it's been in more than one. Oh, yeah. This is like, what if we turn RTX on Mario 64? No, I've played that. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it looks pretty nice, doesn't it? This looks pretty neat. Look at all the textures. But you can maintain your swimming speed by holding the A button, which is really nice. They don't have enough time. Oh, probably. This looks really good, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, you'd be correct. It is very good. 
It's like, what is Mario 3DS? 64 3DS. 3DS. Look like this. Yeah. Hey, what if they took this approach? It would have been really interesting. Yeah. Because I do think this is a pretty unique uh, idea. I don't think I've played any other Mario 64 hack that does this. I've played like level remix hacks, but not quite like this, you know? It's like a remix. Yeah. About the only thing I wish is that they had like a remake camera, which I think you can hack in, but I don't know how much effort it would have been. Well, we're one coin away. See that mountain over there? You can go Not quite. Oh, the star! A64 must be crying. Yeah, you're definitely gonna need expansion pack for this. Yeah. Is there a way you can like overclock the expansion pack? It's not you can overclock the 64. I don't know how much you can do it like really safely, but I know I've I've heard of people doing that. Pretty funny. Is it going with the default Mario 64 camera? Seems to be working okay for me so far. I'll probably have to zoom it out and finagle with it quite a bit though. So this hack does have a lot of wall jump trickery. We gotta come here. He's just so happy. He's just he's just, he's just jumping around like a jump man. Yeah, you know. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. The levels are really, really big in this hack, I will say. Like, really, really, really big. Have you ever felt it was too big? Uh, sometimes. I think later levels in this hat get a little weird. But, you know... Overall? Very fun. Definitely don't think I'd 100% it, though. And I do think some of its coolest environments kind of show up at the beginning more than the end, you know? That's a, that's a traffic with some video games, especially nowadays. They like, like, like the beginning portion is like really good. Because yeah, and then like the, uh, the end of it is kind of weird or... Or, or you what just enjoy was, uh... it a bit less, you know, yeah. Yeah, that's what I heard about that kitty break or whatever that game is called. The Sonic Mania 3D. Really? Yeah, I heard at the beginning of that is like a really good game, but it did it kind of like falters towards the end. I gotta find where Cooper the Quick is. I forget. I think it's because I've been playing this game on that test file for like a week. Oh yeah, there's no fall damage either. Which I think you'll like, right? Uh-oh. You might know it. <laughs> Kinda funny in the sound fun. Oh, absolutely funny in the sound fun. Yo, Peak? 
Absolutely. Speaking of pig, um... Speaking of pig things, I'm very excited for the thousand year door we have to get here. for a bit. Maybe the whole stream will see. Hey Nugget, what's up? Currently enjoying my... I'll say the, the font might be a little bit... Could be a little bit better. Yeah. Like, yeah. aesthetically it looks cool, but probably I would like something that's just a little bit easier on the eyes. For sure, I, I completely agree. Yeah, the only other flaw is that, like, I love Mario 64's engine, but I do wish more of these hacks would, like, change the controls a bit. <laughs> I'm not against that, you know? Could you imagine if there was a scene for Sunshine hacks? That? You think that uh, I mean, there is a Mario Sunshine hack. It is a real thing. But, uh... It's like just okay, I suppose. The yeah, City Escape and the Mario 64 sound font was pretty awesome. What do you think is the best song you've heard in the Mario 64 sound font? Uh, Meteor Herd was really good. Do you, do you know where there's a guy that'll give you the cannon? Maybe? No? Maybe he's up in the city. Look at the button. Yeah, the question that always comes up in hacks like this is, do you like it more or less than the original game? And I would still say probably a little less, but Mario 64 is an all-time classic, it's really hard. To make a hack that I would be like... playing over that, you know? This is quite good. Anyways, I'm so excited for the Thousand Year Door remake. Be pretty soon. Is it? Is it the end of the month, right? Yes, yeah, the 23rd. Weirdly, on a Thursday. Huh. That is maybe the strangest thing about it. The release date, as far as I can tell, is the 23rd of May. Actually, has the past couple of Nintendo games been a Thursday? Oh no. No. No idea. I'm used to Fridays though. What was the uh, RPG remake? Friday. It was a Friday. It was a Friday. Oh! Good thing I watched that four hour video on invisible walls to know why that happened. <laughs> that was probably a misaligned edge. That was probably a, an edge vertex calculation error there. I can't say anything. I'll, I'll, I'll watch like four hour videos on the most random topic. I mean. You've, you've, seen, you've probably seen that video in your recommended at least once. It probably has come up, yeah. The Mario 64 Invisible Walls Explained video? I'm sure it has popped up. I haven't watched it yet. It's, it's very good. But oh my god, it's four hours. <laughs> I mean, like, I appreciate that he goes so in-depth with it. Well, I, I like that kind of stuff, I do. It's just a matter of sitting being able to find the time to watch it. Yeah, and, and like... Having the free time to be able to like watch that... 
I think when it comes to those, like, those kind of videos, I think two hours is a good sweet spot for me. Because it's, like, not even an essay, it's quite literally a, uh, A scientific breakdown of how the fucking walls work in Mario 64, which... Oh, I'm sure, like, that goes into, like, video game engine physics and all that. Thing. Yeah, it, it talks yeah. about how the, the engine does math in certain ways, which is pretty fascinating. Also, that Dr. Robotnik's Ring Racers came out. That was pretty cool. I have, yeah, it's like the SRB2 kart sequel. I've heard less people talk about it though, which. Uh, I just the first hearing about it. Which tells me that it, it probably. You know, it's out of its boom era, but that did come out. I don't know why they rebranded, but... Maybe ask, I know somebody who's on the dev. I should... I... Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever asked him. Somebody's on the dev? Yeah, yeah, I know I, I, one of my friends literally programmed the game. Is one of them, do anyways. Do we have a round? If they're sitting on top of the dev, we need to help them, right? Oh my god... Uh, this is the kind of content that you're missing All out. of a sudden, I'm just like, man, I sure wish this guy... <laughs> but, yeah, I was, uh... I was just like, man, why did they rebrand it? Because SRB2 Kart is, like... That's a name, that's just what it is, but... No, yeah, it's a rebrand, that's not right. Yeah! I I don't know if, like, mods still work for it, or anything like that. If I mean, I probably... I don't even know if it's a new thing. I, I had to look, at, look into this, actually. Uh, what the fuck is this? Do they have, like, a Q&A? Long form videos get me through work. See, I think my problem is I can't just simply have it on background noise when it comes to those kind of videos. I do like to watch them. Like, I'll start, like, just putting it on as background noise and I just get, like, absorbed into it. And then before I realize, like, I'm just, you know, an hour has gone by when I could be, like, multitasking. Oh, apparently it's got a single player mode. They have a YouTube okay. video. Where did they fucking release it? Oh, they have a website. They have a characters list? Wait, 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 hold on, hold up. What do you mean? What do you mean? Hold on. Did I, oh, am I reading this right? You're reading what right? Are we getting Hatsune Miku Magic the Gathering cards? <laughs> so maybe I should try the Ring Racers single player mode, which I hear exists. Because it means they had to code in AI. But, you know, I, I don't know. Definitely not the stream for it, because I don't think they have Mr. Mario in their game, so... Uh... But hey, maybe another day. I can't tomorrow, because, uh, work-related shit. But, you know, Wednesday might be happy time. While I wait for the Thousand Year Door remake, because that's going to be the, uh... The next, uh, ARPA, ARPA project. On our lead-up to it, we're playing uh, Thousand Year Door 64 again, because it got a 1.0 version, finally. So I'm taking Arpa through all of that. Wait, what was it? Uh, it was, a uh, it's the Thousand Year Door 64 hack for, uh... Oh, that! Yeah, 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 okay. And, uh, I'm taking Arpa through that, because it got a 1.0 release, finally. And, uh... 
fully complete now. Although a lot of the bugs are fixed. So I'm going to run through it again with our bot. Hopefully we can beat it in about three weeks. I'm thinking yes, but I don't know. Because the plan is that for Sunday streams, I'm going to do Thousand Year Door. Because we've done all the Mario and Luigi games, so we're just going to do uh, all the Paper Mario games, I guess. Or at least the, the two RPGs, because, you know, I'm not sure you make Super Paper Mario. So. I don't really want to play <coughs> Sticky Star Kelly Splash. Or oh, even really Origami King. <coughs> Alright, so I might be... Gonna try to make up some magic the gathering cards. Hold on. I gotta go to the bathroom. When I get back, though, uh, we'll continue to cook this hack. One second. So I know Magic the Gathering is doing a Final Fantasy collab next year, which uh, that's probably when I'll start getting back into that game, trying to collect those cards. It seems like this Hatsune Miku one, it's just like a few cards you can only order online, as opposed to the Final Fantasy one, which is like a lot. I wonder if there's any previews for that, actually. Dude, if they have, like, Jack Garland Magic the Gathering cards, we are so in. That would be, like, that would actually legitimately be pretty hype. No, it looks like we don't have no preview stuff. I know currently, at least from what I've seen the stores, they're doing like a Fallout thing. I don't know, Magic the Gathering is definitely a card game that I've been like on and over the years. But then again, like I've just been like whenever I do get cards, it's like more just collecting them rather than playing the game nowadays. Yeah, that makes sense. Video games... Video games. ...are definitely time-consuming. <laughs> but I mean, in between job applications, it's... it's pretty good filler, I'd say. That's really the problem, too. But like, like, I just picked up, uh, Unicorn Overlord, Overlord, Unicorn, whatever the name of it is, and I'm just like, we're not gonna find the time to play this game. Oh, is it, like, really involved, or is it one of those, uh... I mean, it's a RPG, like, uh... I guess, I guess let's say the closest is the N64 Attack the Soldier game, honestly. It's Vanillaware. Really? Yeah. Overlord. No, I think it's... Oh, God. I don't remember the title. Is it Unicorn, or is it... Is it Overlord? I don't remember. Oh, you recently beat that one? Okay. Yeah, like, I was interested, but then the moment the guy who made Tac uh, Final Fantasy Tactics says, like, hey, if you want another Final Fantasy Tactics game, just play this. I'm like, okay, I'm over it. I'm all over that game now. It's Unicorn Overlord. Okay. I don't know, I feel like that's like a Balan Wonder World, Wonderland situation. Oh, God. It's just funny to say. It is funny to say. What is nice, though, is that we're never going to really run out of Mario hacks. I just have to, like, figure out which one we play every time. <laughs> right. It gets harder. Oh. 
So, on my vacation, I actually picked up the uh, Crash Insane Trilogy, so... You were on vacation? I was. That's, too, too. That's where I was been disappeared for the past couple days. Oh, was that why you were... You weren't available for the last Mario Hack Mondays? Well, or? Monday I was at my folks. Spent a little bit of time with them before vacation. Oh, you, you go to visit your dad, right? Is that where? Oh, no, this time I went, uh, I, it was actually me and my mom. We went to go to Georgia with my brother. Oh. Well, how was that? Fun. He's like, hey, bro, can you like. For, for, for whatever reason, he's like really into like Game Boy games at the moment. He's like, can you like bring your collection to see if I can have any of it? That's pretty like, funny. I'll bring, I, like, I'll bring whatever I can, but you're not taking my Final Fantasy games. He's like, but I love Tactics Advance. So we can't do the wing cap. Yeah, I'm thinking we could get to the first Bowser. Check out all the levels. Uh, see, see if we want to keep going. But this is a very good hack. I do want to keep playing it. Pardon? I said a stretch, you don't want to keep playing it. I don't know, we'll see. Let's see how I feel. That's a good TV. But I like, I like rotating in this thing, you know? <laughs> the power of rotation. It's a very nice looking hack though, I will say. Like visually it is kind of stunning to be honest. Hey look, it's throwback out. Yeah. <laughs> the thing about uh... That's the thing that I'm really looking forward to the most about Thousand Year Door on the Switch. It looks so pretty. I'm just glad I don't have to spend a hundred dollars on it. Yeah! Only sixty. Which is still 40 so, less, oh, is, I'll is, say. Is it 60 or is it 70? It's 60. As far as I know. Is Tears of the Kingdom the only $70 game they done? Yes. Okay. Because everybody was like, when that first came out, I was like, is this going to be every Nintendo game? I'm like, no. No, I think the fact that they did it for this one is kind of the exception rather than the rule. But I can't blame anybody for being worried. Right. I mean, the rest of the answers is kind of cute. Are it. they all 70? I mean, I, I guess I don't know, because I don't really it buy It depends on the game as well. Because admittedly, while games have started coming out at 70, I feel like they've gone on sale faster than they normally would. Like, I picked up Overlord Unicorn, Unicorn Overlord, whatever the game you think. Oh, you did it again. Up. And that game just came out, and I'm already getting it for $40. So. Oh, that's a What did it launch at? Was it 60? How do I find that kind of data? I mean, Steam will tell you the original price. So. Like, right around where the sale price is, it'll be like, minus whatever. Well, I mean, I bought mine on Amazon for 40 bucks. I don't know then. <coughs> I think Amazon does too. Can I bounce on these? Okay. Actually, is Unicorn Overlord even on? I mean, it, it is a PC game, is it not? Or... No. Is it only on consoles? I don't, I don't know. I feel like it has to be on Steam. Most games are on Steam. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> I'm not wrong. Yeah, I'll say about the only negative about this hack that I can really think of is that uh, no, unicorn overlord is not on Steam. Wow. That's kind of so. What is it on? Is I mean, I mean, it's Vanillaware. I don't think Vanillaware is really known for is it just PlayStation and Switch then, or...? Yeah. It's, it's all modern consoles. Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox. Oh fuck, I need to grab that. Oh. 
funny enough, it got a PS4 port, too. Well, okay, that, I mean, that makes sense. PS4 still probably got a large install base. I mean, because yeah, the PS3, PS5 has not been doing amazing, from what I hear. I'm gonna... S I, I, I try not to defend Sony, but I feel like maybe COVID did have... Yeah, they should have pressed there. it better. That, I mean, I agree there. For sure. Yeah. That's their fault. I don't think it was COVID's fault. Plenty of stuff worked fine during the pandemic. Now... I mean, scalpers didn't help. I mean, they didn't produce enough, and they made it really expensive. So, I mean, what... What could but they have see, wanted? It's a, it's a throwback to when the PS3 was $600. Yeah, I... yeah, no thank you. <laughs> now, I also hear that the new uh, FF7 remake has really not been doing hot. Which it's is really... still... from what I understand, it's still below the sales of 16. Ooh. That's not good. I really think Wait. the console exclusivity is hurting it in this matter, too. I don't want to say it's the console exclusivity. I think people are just generally upset. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm all, I think they're upset because they, uh, they would like to own a PS5 and they can't. <laughs> well, also the thing is, I think Remake was always going to have the more sales because... Oh yeah, because it was the first one. It was the first one. It was on PS4, which just has a larger install base, and, you know, that was when COVID first started as well, so that probably brought up the sale. It's like Animal Crossing, like, I don't think Animal Crossing is gonna, like, the next one's never gonna, like, match the previous one, just because... Maybe, but game, I also that think game. that, like, there's just a lot of factors. It is a lot of factors. So have you enjoyed, did you finally finish it yet? Nope. I've heard people saying it feels really bloated. Thing is with that game, I'm not burnt out on it yet, which is crazy. Well, no, but but it's definitely a situation. that's like if this was a more focused game, I think you could just do the whole the rest of the game. Yeah, like if you paced it out better. Or... At the very least, Sid and Vince have been playing. If it wasn't so. I don't know. Did, like, did the game need to be open world? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like the environments look nice. Don't get me wrong. You missed. Oh yeah, you only get a health penalty when you fall off a ledge. Yeah. But Wait. um. But literally, I. But the part where I got in rebirth is I just got to. Where the whole party's together, so it was a good, it was cool to see since you know Sid and Finn's together. And then it's like, hey, now that you have the the, the tiny Bronco, you can the, we we just open up the whole world again with more stuff to do and like Jesus. And they're like, hey, here's a treasure map you found, so you can go find pirate treasure. I'm like, really? You give me all this stuff to do. With Yeah, you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually gonna do a good game session after, after stream today, actually. Rebirth actually feels like too much video game. That's fair. I wanna say that. I don't know. Like, I'm sure, I'm sure whenever I would eventually replay this game for whatever reason, I was gonna say that. Yeah, cuz... <laughs> And I thought I would play all of it when I, uh... Oh god. I thought I was gonna play all of it when I, uh... When, when it all came out, but I don't know now. It actually sounds like it would be... Would be, like... Way too fucking much for me. Well, uh, at least supposedly... 
if 9 is getting the remake, it's not gonna be, like, on that scale. It's just gonna be, like, oh, here's a prettier 9. With some, like, quality of life changes. Oh, That's yeah. That's all people wanted with 7, <laughs> you know? Right. And we got that. And then we got... I thought I was done with the whispers, I'm not gonna lie. I was so angry when I saw them pop up again. You thought what? We were done with the whispers. But yeah, uh... I'm curious as to how they're gonna wrap everything up. See where it ends. From what I understand, you told me it's like the Temple of the Ancients is where Rebirth ends, or around that? Yes. Point. Which would leave... I don't even remember what's after that. I think it is the... Cloud going catatonic... Uh, snowboarding... It's snowboarding. What else? Uh, I'm trying to remember. Well, okay. So immediately after Tip of the Ancients, you go to the Bone Village to find Eris. That whole, that whole scene. Uh, snowboarding to the Great Crater. Like you say, Cloud going catatonic, and then you kind of do some shenanigans with Tifa instead. The Forgotten City? Do we actually see the Forgotten City? Also, it's kind of crazy that you know, you're, like, you're with Sid and whatnot, but you have not gone to Rocket Town. I'm like, huh. What? Don't at least where I'm at. Don't you have to go there to meet him? Not this time, though. Huh. That's weird. Oh, there's just no Rocket Town! Okay. Great. Great remake, guys. Oh, so you fight Palmer. Right? You fight who? Palmer. Pretty early, so I guess that's why there's no Rocket Town. No, you want to know? Okay. It's funny because somebody complained about the mood with Flash in FF7 when I'm like, you know this is the same series where Eris dies and you're like immediately riding a snowboard, right? Yeah. But, uh, no, so Dine, the whole Barrett and Dine thing happens, pretty deep stuff, and then you're immediately fighting Palmer in a giant frog suit. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's pretty funny. How's the Barrett and Dine scene, though? Is it good? It's... I'm not gonna lie, it's really emotional. They did things a little differently. Like, there's nothing with the locket whatsoever. This time around. Which really? is pretty funny. They made Dine more unhinged. Like, he, he's leg like, he legit just seems like an insane person. Which you got hints of that in the OG. But they just, like, went full on with it in the Reaper. That is pretty wild. Oh, uh, what else? Hmm. Also, gold saucer is not gold. Worst game. What? <laughs> it's, it's not gold! Was it's, it not gold what? in the original, too? Wasn't it gold? It was there? gold. That's, why is it. What? <laughs> The fucking gold saucer! <laughs> nah, it's white now. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh. Neo's funny. Oh, is Touch Me in the game? He is, but he's not Touch Me. That's not a thing. Anymore. What? Oh, it's ass! It's ass! <laughs> What's his name? Some kind of scientific. Boo! I got it. This is their fucking. That is the one thing they had to do, and they fucking fucked it up. Oh my god. You had one job, Square, one. I really do wonder, though, how the fuck that name became Touch Me. Seven's enemies, I think, was 
like OG FF7. I'm pretty sure they just kind of came up with names in the English translation, because I don't think Touch Me was the Japanese name. Oh no, that's what I'm saying. I wonder how they got that. It's fucking iconic, I'll say that. Also, I have not come across yet. Now, admittedly, I haven't beaten the game yet, so the enemy might show up later on. But I have not come across the, uh, the Triceratops tank monster yet. No! And I'm already past Gungaga. No! But they have moved enemies around. No! Because, uh, do you remember the, uh, the egg monsters that would spit out more egg monsters? Yeah. Uh, they were not in Coastal del Sol, but they, they moved them to, uh, to God. So there's, there's enemies that are there, but they're just in different locations. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and get the wing cap and then do Bowser 1. No, it's the actual Japanese name. Okay. Then why are they? Why are they go touch me in Reaper? Fucking chicken, apparently. Hey, Cool Cool Mountain's nice and pink now. It's a good color. Look at this. I have not had the date scene yet. They go talk about it. I'm... Fingers crossed. I hope it's evil. <laughs> That's uh, they really have put a lot of emphasis on Tifa in Reaper, more so than the OG. I mean, yeah, to the point where it's just like I don't know. It definitely feels like Eris has kind of gotten the. Like a little bit of the short end. At least so far. Well, I, I mean, just because she's gonna die. Which I would think, oh, maybe they'll play her up because of that. Nah, the original didn't really do that either. Oh. But they definitely are playing up the whole Tifa die in that flashback, so who is she kind of angle? Yeah. Which admittedly, that was mentioned in OG, but it was like one, like it was mentioned once and never really yeah. mentioned again. Yeah. Oh, candy, it doesn't look like candy. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? Mario's fine. Yeah. Yeah. We can talk about Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, sounds like you're having an okay time with it. I'm guessing you've been, you've been playing it on and off. Yeah, it's def I've definitely been on and off, which I think kind of speaks for it, because I feel like normally I'm like, oh my god, you know, I gotta play this, you know, whenever I have the time for it, where I'm just like, I'm alright. Because I was like that with Remake. Remake, I was just like, as soon as I got it, I'm like, every free time I had was right on that game. You know life the hell out of that game, I remember. Right, yeah. And yeah. whereas Rebirth is like, I'm gonna go work on stupid music for a couple hours instead. Yeah, you're like, I'm not really interested, you know? I will say I was very, and you were there too, I was very pessimistic going in at the beginning, and then I got to the, like, when I got to the Mifterial Mines, that's when I'm like, oh my god, you know? There's things about that game I do like, don't get me wrong. I think. And just seeing the areas remade and doing that kind of stuff is really cool. Even if Gold Saucer's not cool. Stop saying that. It's making me angry every time you say it. <laughs> it's, it's a minor detail, but it's just like. That's not it's minor! <laughs> what is minor about that? Did I ask? Do I sound like ridiculous? I mean, I, I hope not. Oh shit! Like, there's nothing minor. It's called the fucking gold saucer. Why isn't it gold? I don't feel like I. I don't feel like I'm making like 
an impossible demand here. You, you can make the gold saucer gold. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm thinking too much about it. Yeah, because I don't want to play this hack through this whole stream. Because I've already played it. A lot of it. Which was my fault, but also a testament yeah, to how... Yeah, I was about to say, that's probably why you... It's, it's a testament to how good it is that I couldn't stop myself from wanting to play more of it. And then it kind of just turned into, yeah, I'll get as far as I can before I feel like quitting. <laughs> and then that turned out to be, uh... Like, I'm... <laughs> I'm a couple stars away from the end of the game. In fact, I could just go do the final boss on my mostly completed file. I've been enjoying the game that much, you know? Which I think is a good sign. You know, like, that, that's, that's pretty high praise to give to anything, right? Yeah. It's just now the difficulty is, <laughs> what do I play instead? Because I had planned, I had planned this for a while. And then I fucked up my own plan. Wham. But I can't, I fight. mean, I can't blame you. Like, sometimes you're like, oh, you know, let me put an hour in here, and before you know it, it's just like, oh shit, it's like five hours. Yep. It just kind of becomes, it kind of just encompasses. It's like, a, it's like a time I played Vampire Survivors. I'm like, all right, let me check this out. Let me see what this game's all about for like an hour or two, and then literally I, I played that game for eight hours. It's not like how long have I been doing Mario Hack Mondays? How much more can I do it, you know? And the answer is for a while, but... It's just like I gotta... Oh, what I got, Mario... I... game... Oh, you should do a... You should do the Sunshine Ball for all that. I could. Good. I, I could. I'm sure there's a whole lot of Mario games that you haven't even touched in terms of ROM hacking stuff. Like, I've thought about it. Like, there's a lot of Wii ones. I know you've done one on there. Yeah. I don't know, does 3D World have uh, ROM hacks? I've thought about expanding it to, like, Mario and mods as well. Because I don't do that on Sonic R or the April Fool's thing, but, like... Right. There's a Mario mod for SRB2, there's, there's a number of others. Well, S to be fair, SRB2 has a lot of mods with random characters. Yeah. It sure like, does. I know, the, I know Pepino's in there. Yeah. Of course. Which, we need more of the fuck-ass stories like the depressed Luigi. Oh, oh my god, that one was magical. I mean, frankly, that one... Mega Mario World 2 might be the best one we've ever done. Oh, is that the one with the steroids, Luigi? Yeah, that... I, I, I sincerely don't know if we've had anything better. It's, like, not possible for me to visualize something more powerful I, than that. Like, I, the I, only one that comes to mind is the one where they moved Amy to the final part of that game. Oh, I mean, that one was but funny only for... Be, only because of that, not, like, the game itself. Yeah, that what? one, I think, is only funny for, like, a long-running joke. Not to say that it wasn't hilarious. Right. Don't get right. me wrong. But, like, in terms of, like, overall quality, I mean, most of that hack was just a pretty normal Mario hack with good music. And yes. then, like, we got to the Iggy boss, and we're like, oh my god, there he is. It's, like, fucking World 8. Uh... But the the one with Luigi was just oh. I mean, it's the one I remember the most about his story. I can say that. Oh, it was something, and then the ending is just you die. He got so he got so depressed and got he got fat like Mario Three. And then he it wasn't actually Luigi the whole time. It was like the alternate universe Luigi who is evil or something, and then he got stuck in a death loop, and I'm like. like some Mario this is, stuff yeah, like, this is just, like, so much. 
Hey, there's a Mario thing you can play. You can play that creepy pasta Mario. No. Thing. Whatever it's like. And that really buff Mario. Like, but yeah, the steroids level was. Oh. <laughs> With the Mega Man, I think it was Mega Man music. Yeah, it was a uh, Wily one from Mega Man to. Like, let let the record stand. That that was probably my favorite one we did. Like, yeah, because admittedly. When you talk about other ones, it's always been, like, your reaction to, like, specific things. Yeah. Whereas that Luigi one was the, the whole... subject matter itself. The, the, the whole life. fucking game was crazy. Right. And it kept going. Like, we, we kept thinking that, like, eventually it was gonna, like, equalize out. And then we got to the fucking world where we were, like, in the real world or whatever. And we were, like, stomping on people and, like... Fucking angry cats and shit. There's and no way that game was made with serious. I, I don't think it was. Uh, yeah. I don't know what your first clue was or wasn't. I while. think we live in an era of the internet where stuff like that is not made seriously, with no amount of irony to it. High effort. I think shit I, 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 yeah. Like, I, there, I, there, like I think we're long past where people would, back in the day, make something like that with all seriousness. But like, nowadays, the closest equivalent to that I can think of is, like, Sonic fan games. And even then... And even then, a lot of the times they, like, they're weakening at the camera kind of situation. Like, oh yeah, this is dumb, but I'm still doing it. I would love to believe it was all sincere too. You oh know? yeah. Because like in, in a way, like. Because it's like, how do you even think of it? How do you get there? How do how do we get there? Well, clearly somebody was using steroids on themselves. But yeah. Also, do think the middle of this hack is its weakest part. The end isn't the best either, but it's definitely more creative. I think the uh, the middle part is pretty good, but not as good as the early game or the late game. Would you say it's standard or pretty pretty standard? Like a lot of the levels are like interesting enough, but they don't do like a ton different. It doesn't feel like as visually fresh as this. Like, I think the Mabon Battlefield, even by the end of the game, is still one of the most novel. Which tells me that ROM hackers are, like, amazing at making first stages, and pretty good at making final levels. But anything in between is definitely where things get weird. To be fair, that's just not ROM hackers. I mean, yeah, that can be games too. But, like, I've never found that to be an issue with Mario games. And I mean, like, that might just be me saying things, but, uh, like, I Oh, yeah, know. true, Steve. Yeah, first impressions. Th there's a reason why that I would say most games has a good first level to it. Because they do want that first impression. Yeah, they, they want, then... they want, they want that first stage to be good because it's like, it has to be. Like, we, we right. gotta make it that way or else, uh... And then, as development goes on, I guess, I guess crunch time can also be attributed to that? How later levels can be like that? Yeah, I agree. Thank you. 
Good bookends can forgive a lot of things. I agree. Like, the middle of a game can actually be pretty weak, and I still think, uh... The end can, can really pull it up, you know? Because the middle of a game... The middle of a game doesn't even have to be long. Right. Sometimes a game's final act is, like, a lot of its tail end. Although, but, like, sometimes the game, some of the best stuff happens in the middle. And, like, a lot of my favorite games are games that get gradually better, and even if the end is a little worse, it feels like it ramps up really well. Like, Mario Wonder ramps up really well. Um, Rondo of Blood ramps up really well. Um, Shovel Knight, Streets of Rage, those games ramp up really, really well. Sonic Mania ramps up really, 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 really well. And not even just that it gets difficult, it's just that, like... It's more just like, in the in the challenge and the design, as the game gets further in, it, it like it just emphasizes more fun, you know, like it, it, it's more enjoyable. The beginning is like a good baseline and is like awesome, but then like later parts take everything that was good about that, build on it, and make it like more stimulating and complex, while also like keeping in mind everything else, you know. So with in mind, say that the level, like, that's not the greatest, but the gameplay is, do you think that makes up for it? It can. I mean, like, good movement and good, like, core mechanics can let you take even really, like, kind of bland levels and make them exciting, but I still think that the better levels are going to elevate themselves over that. Right. Because if they're, if, they're, if they're designed really, really well anyways, it's like, well, at that point, um, it's still just better. It's just the movement's good, too. Case in point, I think Thousand Year Door, and I'm probably gonna think this when I play the remake on Switch 2, even with, like, the backtracking improved and all of the other QOL changes they've made to the game. Um, that game's quality from chapter to chapter is very interesting, because I think, um, it kind of goes up and down a lot, where Paper Mario 1 kind of kept getting better. But I think, like, when Thousand Year Door is at its peak, I think it is a far better game than the first one. Um, it's just its low points are very, very rough. And I think the backtracking QOL changes are going to help a lot in that regard. And I think the back half of Thousand Year Door is incredibly good for the most part. Outside of Chapter 7's backtracking elements, like I mentioned, like, I think, uh, Chapter 6 on the, uh, on the train is amazing. I think Chapter 5 is really good. Chapter 3 and Chapter 4 are amazing. I actually think the, the middle of the game is some of the best that game gets, because that's where Chapters 3, 4, and 5, and 6 are all contained. Chapter 6 is the game. Uh, 8. Okay. I think Chapter 8 is really, really good, which makes up for the big dip in quality that I would say is Chapter 7 in the original. And Chapter 7 will probably not be as bad in the new one because of the, uh, the improved backtracking, because that's a big proponent of that part of the game. But, um, how do I put it? I still think Chapter 7, even with, like, the backtracking improved, it is still what it is. Uh, and it's still probably my least favorite, one of my least favorite chapters in that game. Next to Chapter 2. I don't like Chapter 2 much in Thousand Year Tour, to be quite honest with you. Is that the one with bugs? bugs? Yeah, I really, really yeah. am not big on that one. I feel like that's probably everybody's low point in that game. Well, I think most people think Chapter 7. Okay. Because of all the backtracking. Okay, admittedly, I'm not too familiar. But, you know, we'll get there when we get there, I suppose. But Chapter 2 and Chapter 7 are the points where, where the game kind of dips a good bit for me. Uh, chapter 4 has a bit of annoying backtracking too, but not too much. And it's thematically pretty cool, so I'm okay with it. Uh... Oh, I forgot about this level.
But uh, yeah, the big thing about Thousand Year Door is that like because it, it dips in quality a lot like that. Not a lot, I guess I should say, but like a couple times. Uh, but the middle, the middle of the game is really strong, and the end of the game is really good. I ultimately like it a lot. Metal Gear Rising. I can see that. Don't need to play Rising. I definitely look at Metal Gear Rising and see a spell section, and I just go, "Man, I would want, I want to play that." I'm sorry. <laughs> there is stuff in that game. Or not. I think that that like that shit is so that shit just looks so fucking put in the game because it has Metal Gear in the title that like I have never looked at like a stealth section in that game and thought to myself that this would make the game better to play. It's an action game. Just let me kill shit, bro. I mean, in all honestly, don't you want to avoid that because if you're going for like the platinum awards in that game or whatever they're called, I don't know. I will say Metal Gear Rising is a, is a very memorable game. When I, when, I'll never yes. forget like seeing it. Like I will never forget like the moments that I have witnessed in that game. Nano machines. It is it is unbelievably quotable and very memorable. Unfortunately, it's just not. Canon. It's just what? If not. Canon. I mean, I can, I can kind of get why. <laughs> I get it. I, I, I'm kind of cool with it not being canon, you know. The funny thing is, no, I, I guess it would have been a KG, but that's not it. Because MGS Five basically deconfirmed it as canon. Like, don't get me wrong. It's cool as fuck. Oh yeah. But like. Um, you and one, uh, there's a mission in, um, uh, Ground Zeroes where they go through a bunch of Metal Gear stuff, and they're like, you gotta try to find the real Metal Gears and, uh, and hide them. And when they go to Rise, and they say, no, that one doesn't count. Now, admittedly, you could look at that and say, well, that's just them having fun, so maybe Ryzen can still can it. Because they also said Portable Ops is not canon, so who knows. Yeah, I don't know. Rising is... Metal Gear is Metal in a weird spot right now. Like, the thing about Rising is that there's nothing that really, like, like you says, there's nothing that really says it can't be because... Right. If I'm not mistaken, it would be chronologically the last one anyways. It is. They wanted it originally to be between two and four. How? And they, well, I guess uh, they because, realized. Yeah, and then when Platinum took over, they changed it to where Platinum had a little bit more freedom to do things. Because I remember some of the early footage I saw, it looked a lot more grounded, and it also was just like... Yeah, that's why the original Metal Gear devs were so... They were having trouble with it because they couldn't balance it out. Well, here's the good news: Platinum didn't do that either. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they just like nah, forget the skill. Like, they didn't say that. They left it in the game. <laughs> yeah, basically the story of the original Rising was you're playing as Rising to rescue Sunny between the events of two and four, and that was the main plot. I can't get over how the fuck she got that name, by the way. That is... <sighs> it's Metal Gear, what do you expect? That is some writing. That is some writing right there, man. We literally have a guy named Hot Cold Man in this series, okay? I didn't say it was any better in the other games. <laughs> don't get me... Don't... Don't misconstrue my statements. But... Okay, remember when I said there's a Delta Rune level in this game? We're going to the Delta Rune level. Hooray. It's gonna look really cool. I wonder what Delta Rune, uh, the next chapter is coming out, actually. Uh, I think if I'm not mistaken, the plan was to release, like, three of them. 
it was like chapters 3, 4, and 5 are all gonna come out. Okay. Which is why it's going to take a while. Again. Which is what they said when- when the fuck did chapter 2 come out again? Was it 2020? I want to say it was after that, but you're probably right. Let me see. My ass does not remember. Yeah. 2021. No, I'm not gonna get the red coins, it's gonna get to the end. Why could Jim is keeping his dumbass naming conventions around for Death Stranding? The main character is a porter, hence his name is Sam Porter. And he's gotta build I mean, I connections to- no, uh, no, I have not played Death Stranding yet. He's gotta build connections to people, that's why his name is Sam Porter Bridges. Thank you, thank you, Kima. Hey. Genius! Fucking hot, Goldman. I- oh hot my Goldman. god, dude. Why? I <laughs> like when people are like, Kojima's like a brilliant man, and he's just like... And then he, like, you go to his Twitter, he's like posting like the It's... It's certainly strange. I'll say that. His naming conventions are hilarious, though. I, I cannot take away from that. Like, undeniably funny as fuck. <laughs> That's really tight. They're not fighting Bowser. So it's never fighting a more dangerous opponent, the camera. Yeah, there's no live. Yeah, either. die. Yeah, die, Hardman. I know that one. It's a real ass fucking name, I'll tell you. Goes hard. Man. But yeah, this hack is pretty cool. As you can see. I wonder what Dr. Robotnik's Ring Racers has. Uh, rings, I hope. I mean, they, they definitely... So, we've got this hack demo. Uh, Super Mario World Season 3. Which it looks like the latest demo for this came out. Oh god. Wait, hold on. Uh -oh. uh, maybe. Firewall hacks are always interesting. Anywho. Time to set up another one. Another one. Demo 4 is out. Four worlds. With exit. Hmm. I would play more a thousand year door sixty four, but I 
I definitely cannot do that without ARPA. It's gonna be it's gonna be hard to finish that within the time frame given. Right. But if anybody can do it, I think it's me, you know. Can't believe fucking die hardman. The more I think about it, the more I'm just like how. By the way, that guy who voices Die Hardman also voices uh, President Shinra in uh, Remake. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's pretty powerful, I must say. Oh my god. Somebody's making a boomer shooter. Where you have to reload each gun with the mouse cursor. That's pretty funny. Well, that's neat. Like, you actually have to cock the guns, put the, throw the ammo in. That's funny. Well, in the meanwhile, uh, I've been playing a 3D platformer on on my stream. I've been playing Frog Gun. That's been pretty fun. Probably going to get back into that uh, come uh, Wednesday. Really? Really? That's pretty impressive. But I know, I know for sure that once uh, Paper Mario comes around, I'm definitely going to be um, streaming it. I probably just not the day of, unless we get it and store it at work. Then maybe yeah, because it's it's a it's a hella weird time, weird day for it to come out. I would say. Right. Because it's just like, what do you mean, like, what do you mean a Thursday? <laughs> you know, like, it doesn't, doesn't make much sense, does it? I mean, to some aspects it does, because at least you'll have it for the weekend? I don't know. You're kind of right, but I mean... I just got a video recommended to me. Super Turbo is broken. Yeah? <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yep. That's Super Turbo. <laughs> What's next? Marvel 2 is broken? Yeah. So what's on the menu? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like. You could watch that 4K Mario OVA restoration. I I guess I could, but I don't want to. That's fair. Like, that's just not, not in the cards for me. Speaking of the cards, so 
for the first time, I got a notification on YouTube that says, I was mentioned in a video description. I'm like, wait, what? So I go to it, and just some random guy from Italy used my <laughs> Sonic video for something. I'm like, huh. I was like, that was definitely not in my cards today. Really? It was really funny. And I don't, I don't know the context, because it's in Italian. I don't understand it. That... That's pretty hype. In, in, a, in a weird way. It, it, I, I, it's just funny. It's like a, it's like one million Kaizo Hex. I think you should do one, just to say you do. Do you really want me to? No, there's no way I'm doing a Kaizo Hack, bro. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna dig. We're gonna dig a little bit. We're gonna go further than page four. We're just gonna look for hacks that maybe I never played. Because at this point... Alright, hold on, we got... Hold it. Super Icy Coral Mario World. If I've played it, I don't remember it. We shall see. We're gonna do it. You really, you really need to put some sort of list together of the ones. Uh, you that's the problem. Is I got to spend like a whole day looking at this up. Oh yeah, that definitely would probably be a day. And uh, I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> Okay, this is interesting. There's a kind patch. Kind of patch. Like, kind as in nice. Which oh. is concerning. We'll try it. You know, I'm sure that that is a good sign. And not at all a bad sign. And that I will be a very happy person playing this. I am very happy though that I managed to fix up my computer. That made me really happy. I think that would make anybody happy, honestly. I was like, do I really have to do all this shit? Then I thought about it. Where's I... the hostile pack? <laughs> Where's the fucking host? I would assume that is the default. Like, the default is antagonistic. Is, is, is there a hostile patch where, like, just in case you're done with the kind patch? Yeah, like, if you're ready for the game to shit on your face, boy, do we have the version for you. What? Like, what are you talking about? Alright! Here we go! Yeah. All right, super. That background looks familiar. I think this is Kirby's Dreamland Three. That background. Maybe that might be it. I like the sky. I like this. The, the. I like the gusto on the sky. Maybe. Talk about Kirby, his favorite shmup franchise. I'm sure there's been yeah, there's been a shmup level in Kirby, so it counts. Pokemon, I think. Or maybe not. I don't know. This sounds like either Pokemon or RPG music. What are the other? I've heard it before. It's Final Fantasy Five, isn't it? That one? I don't recognize that song. Oh, I have to play Pixel Master Five again. 
Oh, they got the update to make the, the job grinding a little faster. Ah. And they added the pixel fonts, which look pretty nice. And that everybody selected them right away. <laughs> like, everybody I've seen stream it after the updates has, has, has done the fucking pixel fonts. Oh, like, you're right, yo. I think it was FF3. Like, oh, you don't want FF3. you don't want the the Pixel Remaster default fonts? I wonder why. <laughs> oh, there's a switch. What's that mean? Whoa. I still need to play uh, a lot of the Pixel Remasters on stream. If I have streamed this before, well, we're doing it again, but uh, I don't think I have. God, it's so nice. I think even even this is running better. It looks like it is. But sometimes you just gotta you gotta unfuck your computer. <laughs> I still need to upgrade mine at some point. I would I recommend if you're gonna make like significant hardware changes to like reinstall all your drivers or uh I think basically what I only really need to do is just uh, get a better uh, graphics card. Yeah, cause your processor is um, it's an i7, right? Yes. Yeah, you're probably okay. Because yeah. immediately, even when I bought this graphics card, it was still on the cheaper end because I wanted something affordable at that time. Right. And it's fine, but there's definitely games like I can't stream some. There's some games I can't stream and play at the same time if I'm doing on PC, I'll say that. And then you obviously want to increase the amount of games that you can stream and play at the same time. Right. Like, it's a natural desire. That's a pretty normal thing to want. And it's not even, like, really demanding games. It's just like, oh, this is a 3D game that just has weather or something. Yeah, that makes sense. But it's okay, don't worry. Fret not! And then as soon as I got it, I'm gonna like, alright, time to stream a $3 RPG Maker game that nobody's heard. Yeah, dude, we gotta do that again. I think it's time we bring back the, uh... I just got done streaming one! How was it? Was it bad? It was actually really good. It was a psychological horror one. See, no, <laughs> I'm not talking about the good ones. I know, I know. We, we, gotta, we, we gotta go through those, like, AI-generated ass games, man. We are not doing any Not Not those. I meant, I meant like, they, they have <laughs> they have the vibes of an AI-generated yeah. thing. I don't mean, like, they are, but they, like, they're, I like... I hate that they can be described as AI-generated. <laughs> Who knows how many of them are now? And now, admittedly, admittedly, we could have another case where we run into another Cindy's world. This is true. Oh yeah, Sydney's world is so fucking goaded, dude. <laughs> I would still love to see you just do an RPG Maker game. It could be any kind! This has gotta be RPG Maker. Hey, you, you want it real bad, huh? You should do that, like, that Mario Horror game RPG Maker Why game. do you want me to do that so bad? You know <laughs> I, I would know, hate it's a it. Mario game. You know I would hate it. Like, you would know you? I would- Yes! <laughs> would I? What the fuck do you think? Of course! That's the guy who wants me to play RPG Maker games that are just, like, terrible. Oh, I can go through the slope. Hold on. Uh, I saw that. Oh, I can't do anything interesting with it. There's gotta be a, a, a P-switch or something around here in this level, because I can see blocks there. But I need to know where the fuck it is, right? Oh! oh. What a secret, dude. But yeah, uh, we, if we gotta do another one of your, your streams dedicated to that... Actually, uh, maybe Wednesday morning if you're down. Yeah, because I have been streaming, uh, or no, no, I have not been streaming mornings anymore. Oh, I got the fucking... what do they call it? A yump or whatever. I jumped off the switch. You see that? I did it! I did it! What a gamer. Yeah! Gotta clip that for M-Song later.
Uh, I'm doing pretty good. I think T's doing okay. I'm doing great. You know, I found a hack to play. I'm very happy. I went back further in the pages and decided, yeah, we could just play something older at this point. This is 2022. It said at the first page of Google, he went to page three. Yeah. That's it, guys. I'm getting a little more adventurous. I wish Google was like that. Nowadays, Google search is not the same. Uh, Google peaked when they had me as the third result for Plus R Cliff. <laughs> I'm never gonna forget that happening. <laughs> Who else can say that, that they did it with their character in a fighting game? Oh, uh, well, uh, we were talking about RPG Maker games, but uh, I stream in the afternoons now rather than the mornings, so I don't think we're gonna do RPG Maker. Let's see, I have not. Pl oh! Oh my god, look at that! Boom, boom! I have not played Plus R in a minute. I need to do it again. I, my, my new stick needs to come in. Then I can actually play again. But I definitely would be down to doing, like, at some point, just doing an RPG Maker stream with you. Where we just go through and this, uh, just pick random RPG Maker games. It's... And I say that, and you'll probably like, nah, you gotta get through the whole thing, dude. No, we gotta do some shit ones. I think Wednesday morning would be okay if you're down. I, nah. Well, what time, sleep, what times do up. you stream, then? I stream at 4 in the afternoon now. Well, I'm off Wednesday, so we can do that if you want. Oh, that's up to you. A Cliff in Season 4? That would be crazy. That would blow my mind if Cliff showed up and strive. Do you think... No. No, no, I think, do you think we'll get a character that's, in, like, a spiritual successor to Cliff? Yeah, we got one already. It's called Gold Lewis. Okay, fair enough. I, do you think I'm we'll get lie. that? Yeah, I, I do, because we did get it. I Gold Lewis. I'm not gonna... <laughs> is he... What's his... Is he good? Yeah, he's top two right now, some people say. Oh, is... Oh, shoot, okay. White Wild Assault is really broken, though. That's pretty much the only reason. <laughs> It's probably getting nerfed. Slayer looks really fucking cool, by the way. Yeah, I did see the Slayer trailer. He looks so fucking cool, dude. He looks dainty. But yeah, I need to play Plus R again. It's been a while since I've been able to actually like, get a good session in. Because my... I'm actually thinking about um, jumping back into Melty, actually. It's just because my stick has been fritzing out, and so I got a new one, and I gotta wait for it to come in through the order, right? Oh, it looks like you got installed Windows on your stick now. No, it's been acting up for a bit. But I'll have to get used to, like, the new lever and the buttons, but I'm sure it'll be nice. Every, every time I take, like, a break from Plus R and come back, I come back better, so... I've, I've still been keeping my execution and my combo theory and stuff in check, so... This is schmuck music. Oh, yeah. Hey, come on. Couldn't you hear this in, um, Twin B? You know, that one, that one probably. But I don't think you knew what Twin B was until I mentioned what it was. You know what Twin B was? I don't believe you. With Oopa, right? Or whatever that guy's name is. Oh, yeah, you totally know what Twin B is, and you don't know the guy's name. What Twin B is? It's, it's the funny looking ch- I've been known what Twin B is. Um... I don't think so. Like, I'm, I've been aware of Twin B since like 07. I don't, uh, I, I, I don't believe you. Look, I'm an idiot, That's but not mm, a big idiot. <laughs> it's like, nah, you big idiot. Anywho. So far this hack has not been that bad. This is tagged is very hard for some reason. But this is a lot easier than most of the hacks that I've seen. Well, you do have the nice, nice patch in, remember. I mean, I think that just starts you with more lives. I'm pretty sure. Mega Man 3 jump scare? <laughs> it's a sud it's suddenly it's Snake Man. It was really, really fucking loud compared to every other song, too. It was like. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Wait, they really want you to know. I love, I love Snake Man. 
He's so cool, he's a snake. Man. I don't know, man. It's not as creative as Centaur. I, I don't know, man. Who's that? I don't know, man. It would be amazing. Didn't it bust out the Kung Fu cut, man? Oh, true. Oh! It went the wrong way. How come we haven't had chair, man? Time, young grasshopper. Time. <laughs> That's if uh, we ever get a Mega Man 12. Yeah. What? Okay, admit it. I, I don't know. How do you feel about the whole Mega Man thing? I would love another Mega Man game. Please, please, Capcom, please. I mean, Play how long ago was Blevin? Was it that long ago? Twenty eighteen was Mega Man Eleven. Twenty eighteen? Yeah. That's six years. <laughs> oh, I know you didn't want to hear that. Oh, I know you. I could tell you didn't want to hear that. Not really, because Mega Man's like, eh. <laughs> no, I meant like the fact that twenty eighteen was six years ago. Twenty eighteen was six years ago. Yes. You know the Wii is a retro console. <laughs> Is it retro now? What's the age cutoff for retro? Is it like 15? For me, for me it's 15. Okay, well the Wii was... Oh, supposedly. That's that's the common consensus. 15. The Wii is in fact retro. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, the Wii. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now if you told me Wii U... No. Close. It's getting there. It's getting there. Two, uh, three more years. It'll be retro. I mean, it might as well be. The server's on Earth dead now. Ba -da -da, da -da, ba -da -da, ba -da -da. This uh, is a Mega Man boss music. Oh. Okay. This hack's pretty good so far. This has very old school feeling to it, though. Like, uh, it's very much like here's some cool custom tiles and some music. Ooh! Scene. Oh, I can leave. Oh, that's neat. What? Get the Bowser orb. Yes. <laughs> yep. Uh -huh. I didn't think that's actually what it was called. We did it. Oh, e e Egypt desert. That's not spelled right. Okay, though. Right, time for another Mario hack that's just Mario 3 again. Oh god, when I say pyramids, I think of that song with the mosquito in it. I do not remember what stream that was at this point, but you know, I... I do not remember which one. And they, not to be mean, but sometimes the hacks do seem to run together for me. Oh, something. yeah. Oh, he's coming for you! <laughs> he's doing a pretty bad job. Doesn't get paid enough. I'll be sure to talk to HR about it. But yeah, after a nice refresh off plus R, I'll get back on with my new stick, train everything out. Get my execution. Any fight games coming out that you're interested in getting into? <laughs> Not really, to be honest. Go the new Garou, maybe. Funny enough, <laughs> I, I really want to play that. Fatal Fury not doing it for you? That's what it is, but... Oh, you said- oh. I'm dummy. What do you think I said? I thought you said Gorilla. No, no gorilla fighting game. <laughs> Could you imagine? That's gotta be something like some kind, some kind of like badly done nudity fighting game, just gorillas. Right, I'll give this desert world credit. This is not like a desert level, or it's like a desert like factory or something. Desert factory. I don't know. What does it look like to you? I don't know. What? What? Did they make deserts in a factory? Is that what you what you were implying? Yeah, sand isn't real. 
It's a government construct. It's like birds. It's a, I, thank you! I was gonna make that joke. I think everybody makes that joke nowadays, but it's very funny. The idea of, like, birds being a fucking government op. Man, what's the craziest thing? Fake birds... Government control weather, flat Earth. Flat Earth for Lizard sure. people. I think flat Earth 100%. Because like, you can't see everything on the Earth in a straight line. So how the fuck is it flat? Or how the fuck is it not flat? Or rather, how how is it flat? There we go. <laughs> Excuse me, my words got messed up. Like, how is it flat yeah. if you can't see every landmark? Like, would would the Leaning Tower of Pisa not show up in your eyesight? Down the Dude, fucking horizon. Somebody like infiltrated a Facebook a group of flat earthers and they posted a picture of like from a game. Is like it's like look how flat it is and everybody was like believing them and say, Oh by the way, this is from like Halo 2. Their heads are flat? Oh yeah, they're not round. You think they have flat tops? <laughs> Oh hey, this is from FF5, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember where this plays, but it is an FF5. I'm sure this is like, we're confronting X-Death music. I... It does sound like it. RPG, finally, we're back into Mario, Mario ROM hack home space. <laughs> this is like the free square on the bingo card. Well, we did have FF3 music earlier. True. But this is like music from a game I remember music from. Oh, it might have been FF2. What? Yeah, yeah. It's like the only songs I remember from 2 are like the town theme and a couple other songs. The overworld theme is also very depressing in that game. Dude, that, that, I'm still blown away by that one Pixel Remaster version of, a uh, Oh, Pandemonium, or Pan, Pan... Pandemonium. Pandemonium? Oh my god, they went so hard on that. It really did. It made that shit sound fucking epic, dude. And it's like, it's just a really annoying dungeon where every enemy kills you. <laughs> Alright, what Mega Man boss fight are we getting here? Oh my god, Big Wheel! Ah, but it's not... Wait, what? Are they... are they statues? I don't know, they don't look like statues. They, they do look very... Oh! <laughs> big wheel. You gotta have... those are like the two things. It's Big Wheel and, and Boom Boom. You've gotta have we Boom need Boom, boom We need Mario Boom Boom, boom on a big wheel. When will this happen? I'm... I, I do need to make the Mario Hack Mondays, like, logo. <laughs> yeah, I would buy that t-shirt. Can I... And I think I'll do that after the stream tonight, and I think I know what I want to do. <laughs> I, I think I know what I want. On what a related note, you? on a related note, I released the mod that includes the big wheel thing. Have people seen it yet? I know for sure one guy has downloaded it, so... <laughs> That's exciting. That is pretty exciting. So somebody out there in the world has downloaded big wheel. I'm so glad that you thought that me saying that was just that funny. It was! It's, it's just, just, it's so... It's actually in my YouTube poo ro um, rotation, too, funny Dude, enough. Dude, like, people latch on to me saying, like, the most normal things. It makes no sense. I feel like people just has that phrase that they say, or saying something that just tickles their fancy. I genuinely just think people think... My voice is funny or something. There's no fucking other explanation for it. Craig but like completely, completely mundane comments about just about anything. I wish I was like that. I just 
I mean, you're very, very charmingly southern. That's what I've heard people describe it as. They think it's adorable. How strong your, your southern accent is. I oh. still remember the first time Kame heard my voice. It was hilarious. What did he do? He laughed, didn't he? He, he, he literally just yelled out loud, My god, you are southern. You you do you do sound it. Not in a bad way. It. He lost it that day. He's, like I just played into it that day, and I just said pick him up truck, and he just died. Speaking of which, he is totally down with the Game Center BS 10 year reunion stream, by the way, which would be this year. Is it this year? Yeah, this year. It's this 2014. Oh shoot. Uh, which uh, my plans so far for that. It's uh, we're gonna get Kame to play games. And, um, I would like oh, to do- Oh, compared to Drake, what? I would like to do The Quiet Man and The Hobbit. The Quiet Man! Oh my god. I think those two games would be very- Oh, the Gollum game, excuse me. Oh, okay, okay. We have to do the Gollum game. See, I would say... I still don't know what's worse, that Golem game or King Kong? Oh, that's another one! <laughs> is King Kong on PC? I'm pretty sure it is. I'll double check for it. It is. Okay, it is. We have to do King Kong, too. <laughs> just, the, just the trifecta, you know? You know? I, the quiet, I can't get over The Quiet Man, I'm sorry. Oh, that one's perfect. The Quiet Man is such a game, dude. <laughs> was it even that bad? I don't remember. I, I think it was just bizarre. Nobody talks about it. It, it. it just said, oh, it's funny, it's The Quiet Man, and that was it. The fact that Square put that out, too, is even more hilarious. No wonder these motherfuckers are talking about- I'm, I'm safe stating, I'm sorry. I'm so tired of repeating this section. No wonder those motherfuckers are talking about AI. You put out the quiet man! Man, I miss when Square was putting out things like the quiet man is doing this <coughs> ace, ace <coughs> Have they done that yet? Anything with AI? Oh, they have, with the- Yeah, because they remade <coughs> one, of their, they, uh, one of their visual novel games from back in the day that used AI, and it went terrible. Yo, that's Hype Aerador. No, that's really cool. I know Kami was on your recent, uh, Jumping to Conclusions one. I gotta go watch it. Yeah, he was he's like, I'm free this weekend. And I was like, you know what? I know what we're gonna do. And then the Ren and Stimpy game was so fucking bad that we just played Paper Mario after. <laughs> <laughs> of course it was Ren and Stimpy. Dude. You cannot find a stronger Ren and Stimpy hater than me. I don't know, I think you're a bigger hater of Asterix, or Asterix, whatever that game's called. Oh man, that's a fucking competition. <laughs> I think if those two were in a death match, I'd hope they both die. No, you know what would happen, Rocky and Bullwinkle will end that. Unironically, I would rather play a Rocky and Bullwinkle video game. I don't know, man, that NES game. I still, no, that game is bad, but it's funny. That game is fucking hilarious. The, the the audio glitch on the bombs is hilarious. The music in general. <laughs> Composer credit. Wait, was that Rocky and Bullwinkle song ever on one of those polls we did with the worst video game music? Was I think it? It, was. it yes, was, yes it was. It? it was. Oh, it was. Okay, okay, okay. I forget the name of that site, by the way. I need to go back on there and... Uh, it's Ubu, Ubu, I don't even know. It's a weird name. What about Castlevania? U W U F U F U. I've been working on a poll recently on there. I need to get back to it. What about the Castlevania for PC port? No idea what you're talking about. The shark. Right. I mean, that that's just a hard game. 
Um, let's be real, though. I think between those three games, that might make up a whole episode. Getting Kame to play Chronicles would be funny, though. God, but have we not had, a, like, a really bad game release since after Golem? Now thinking about it. Because Robocop ended up being decent, which is good. The new Tintin game ain't terrible, from what I understand. Did the new Robocop game actually come out? I thought it was only a demo. No, that's been out for a while. Unless you're making a joke, I don't get. Oh, I guess so. No idea, I don't remember it coming out. <laughs> No, I did. Uh, people liked it. I saw a lot of uh, trophy hunters playing it. That's good. Uh, uh, you know, hey, Robocop having a good game? W. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> but yeah, um... Another game set of BS episode. We could do the Castlevania game. That wouldn't be bad. But, um, I almost feel like that game is too good for Game Center BS. <laughs> it's okay, though. I don't think. I don't think Kame has played Castlevania the Adventure on Game Boy. So we could always do that one. Although, there's a chance that it's been played for Game Center BS already. By, like, me. Uh, do I still have that list? He did? Oh, okay. I mean, Kame has the played games thing. I did too, I just got blinded. But yeah, I, uh, I would... Uh, Kame has said he's down to do it. That's great. So, I think as long as we make a day in advance, he can probably find time. Cause it's just one day. It would just be like a six hour stream. I wouldn't mind if you guys, whenever you got that, try to get that day off just for that. I wouldn't do it for Game Center. Yeah, absolutely. I think we should. We should all take that day off our, our job or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then just do it, you know? The only problem is I would have to know, like, weeks in advance. Yeah, we could definitely plan it out. We could do it on, like, the anniversary date or, like... On like a Friday or, or a convenient. Do we know the exact date? I don't know. I have to get talk to Kame about it. I think it's late in in this year. It'd be like November or December. Also, yes, Castlevania Adventure is on a list, and it was actually beaten. Really? That's yeah. Wow. Good work, Kame. <laughs> but, or if you want to make a commemorative video, if you want to make like. Anything. We could also just reuse the old intro. I would not be the worst thing. That's a callback, yeah. Oh man, I'm getting nostalgic looking at this list now. Dude, I... I... <laughs> There's... You guys did three different Dai Katanas. <laughs> yeah. And the Game Boy Color one was good. That was the worst part. That got submitted and we were like, wait, this is actually not bad. Right. I mean, it happens. I mean, Morton Chicken's on here. That's, well, that's not a great game. It's not terrible. It is in Pizza Tower. Yes. <laughs> King Kong 10. Kirby 52. I, 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 like, look at some of the titles, I'm like, wait, Lego Batman, then I see it's for the Sega Genesis. Oh, like, yeah, you're like, wait. Yeah. <laughs> it's like some fucking Russian bootleg. This yeah. is DuckTales music. All three Lizzie McGuire games are on here. But yeah, um, I definitely would, uh, would want to do, uh, The Quiet Man, Gollum, and King Kong, and then maybe Castlevania or something. We need, we need, like, an ender. Did The Quiet Man release on PC? I know Sonic 06 was like the perfect series finale game, I think. I don't think I could have picked a better game to end it off on. Got 
Yeah, Game Center uh, was fun. That was a very, very long period of our lives. I just hate the fact that when people talk about, oh, this is the, you know, this game is terrible, I'm like, oh, no. I've been on Game Center BS. I know what actual terrible It's ruined your are. perception of bad video games. It's made it harder for like, me, too. But like, even with Golem and King Kong, I'm like, that's still not as bad as some of the stuff I've seen. Oh, uh, it's, it's Game Center. Those are Game Center BS worthy games, I think. Are, they are. Don't get me wrong. But, like, obviously there's worse that we've played on Game Center BS, but, like, those games are, like, somewhere in the middle. I don't think they're among the best. Even close, really. But I definitely think we've played, uh... Honestly, I think the problem with King Kong is just gonna be... Like, Golem's one thing. King Kong's just straight up boring. If he no, if Fire Emblem Fates is a bad game. I don't think it's Game Center BS worthy, but I think it is barely short. I think that game is laughably bad. Sword and Shield is not as bad as Fire Emblem Fates. No. Fire Emblem Fates is the worst $60 I've ever spent on anything. Because, like... <laughs> Every, everything about that game is terrible. I'm gonna throw my babies at them. But uh, getting Kami to play Fire Emblem Bates would would be would take way too long uh, to get to what's bad about it. I don't. Yeah, and I was gonna say it probably wouldn't even get the full experience because the story is just as bad in that game too. And he would probably just skip the dialogue. <laughs> yeah, just skip the dialogue or like. Honestly, not even care. Right. But yeah, it's like... When I think about, uh... Game Center BS, it's like, yeah, we definitely... We had some, some real stinkers on there. But Get funny enough, jump, jumping, jumping to conclusions has had games that were not on there that I'm like, damn, that could have been on there. Right. That, like, that Trolls game? Uh, that was fine. I think, uh, Dash Galaxy and the Alien Asylum definitely could have oh been on there. Oh my god, Dash Galaxy. But how do you know about that? Or did you watch the VOD? Um, I had that game on NES. You own that?! I, I oh my god, I gotta uh, I You need to sign... <laughs> Would I stream Anton Blast? Maybe. I mean, it looks pretty good. I don't know when the fuck it's coming out. I feel like people tell me about these games and they come out like never. So maybe I mean it was on the the latest Switch thing, so that's gotta be a good sign. November? Oh okay. Sure. If I'm still alive, I'll do it. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I'm not making any promises. <laughs> Anything could happen to me. You know, life is precious. It will not be anything I do. But uh I'm just saying, if I get in a car accident or something, I cannot stream Anton Blast. Not from the hospital. The Wi-Fi is not good enough. But November is my my birthday month, so that's pretty exciting. Hey. Maybe we could do the Game Center BS reunion on my birthday. That would be kind of nice. That would be funny. Funny think... enough, uh, Sandwing actually came out on my birthday, so that was pretty interesting. I might pick up that game. But yeah, uh, the, the reunion episode will be very fun. Um... You guys could include one of the newer Bugsy games. Maybe. Even though they're not as terrible as the old ones. So Maybe. Let's be, a little, let's be fair. Let's be a little fair. I went the wrong way. Uh, maybe. It, it, it's, it's a big maybe in my head. Yeah, and uh, admittedly, I'm saying that it's like a legacy kind of thing. Because we're, like, we're, oh, we're, oh. stra we're strapped for room, but that could be the fourth game, because I think any more than four would be a bit much. I mean, honestly, I think between those three games, I think that's good right there, because... What, Quiet Man, Gollum, and King Kong? <laughs> yeah. Th those are, like, modern Game Center BS games, I would say. Right. If you could call and I feel anything. like Quiet Man would actually take up a good bit of time. <laughs> Oh my god, music. You know this song. They finally put this track in Mario Kart 8, by the way. 
Oh, I I really wish the Goosebumps mod was not dead. Yeah, lost me. That was one of the best. The saddest thing is that that was one of I the best. It. I missed out on it. I never watched it. Dude, the fucking the security cop robot. Oh, I'm never gonna forget it. That was. Oh. There's no clips of it whatsoever. I don't think it's so. Not. No. Okay. It, it's. It's a memory. Um, it's one that I, I have. I'll never forget the R.L. Stein face. Because Kame had that as profile picture. I do remember that. Him having that as profile picture. It was very... I... It's... Uh, you guys did three different versions of Dreadful Dragon 3. That's funny. Oh, and they're all bad. You played the last one, I believe, with Kame. Or you was... guys actually beat the uh, the arcade version. Oh well, yeah, because you can credit feed in that one. Yeah. So many Dragon Ball. It was pretty fucking bad. Oh, view you don't like Double Dragon Three? There's no way. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's an opinion I can't believe you hold. From what I understand, too, Drumble Dragon 4 is not better. Uh, it, it is, but it's still ass, so this is better. Okay. Yeah, Eridor did manage to recover some of them. Actually, Pilot Episode 0, if you had... Oh, well, there was no date on the file, probably. I do have the games from the Pilot Episode listed on here. Because Game Center BS Episode Zero wasn't even called Game Center BS. I'm pretty sure it was just Tintin and like Skull Jagger or something. Oh, wait, yeah. no, no, I think well, Skull, no, Skull Jagger was Episode One. I think uh, yeah. Episode Zero I think it was... is just Tintin and like right something else. And I actually did went to both of you guys to say, hey, should these count for the list? And you both said yes for the pilot episode. Yeah, because technically speaking, it was not a Game Center BS stream. Right. But. It was a Game Center BS stream. You know, like... Oh, Fox Hunt was amazing. And the VOD for that is up, I believe. Yes. Uh, Wolf Shantz is another one. That one was an all-timer. The one where we played the Metal Gear soundtrack over it because the in-game music didn't work. Power Pigs episode couldn't be... That's funny because that's the one with the memory. <laughs> So where his computer crashed. Yeah, because his computer fucking memory leaked on a Super Nintendo emulator. I... You you have a habit of making other people's computers crash. Me? Yes, because you maybe played that stupid Porntress game before and my computer crashed. Oh yeah, and I, and I did blue screen uh, a computer during a Battle Quiz tournament. That happened. Oh shit, it's Morton Von Mega Man 3. He followed asleep to that's so rape that's Oh yeah, what I what I uh I passed out during That's So Raven on GB8. Listen, you cannot blame me. <laughs> that game was funny, it was not that exciting. Wow, you guys only did Mega Man and based on the Super Nintendo. You didn't do the GBA version. <laughs> it's the same game. It's just the screen is crunched. Which makes it worse. It's the same game. And then you have X6, X7, X7 again. Oh, dude. X7 was... <laughs> <laughs> the fucking PS2 emulation. The Mev, the Mev, the Mev. Dude, the Candyland four-player multiplayer thing was high. Just like that, um, what was it, Mary Kane and Ashley? I'm pretty sure player. that is the only footage of that game's four-player mode on no. the internet. Unfortunately, we were the first, but somebody has done this since then. I looked it up. Oh, we were the first, though, right? We were the first. That's, that's hype, dude. <laughs> 
Unless for some reason somebody's done it on like Nico Nico or something. Oh, dude, the fucking Mega Play collection with the the faces on DOS. Oh my god. <laughs> I remember JC was telling me he watched that VOD on a road trip and just started laughing in the backseat of the car, and his brother looked over at his screen and started laughing too with the faces. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. I mean, how could you not? It was like those fucking faces were too much. I don't think the good bot Twitter account ever posted those faces. Oh, they, yeah, they're fraudulent. Yeah, yeah, they are fraudulent. How, how those are, those are fucking good faces. What do you mean, ball brother? Stalin Subway is, was a treat. Stalin Subway, with the Mario music, yeah, I was like, yeah, I'll get music from all the uh, ice levels. And I got, like, the Mario 2 uh, Overworld, because that was at ice levels. And it's immediately playing while these guys are getting, like, lined up and shot. Getting all shot. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's the kind of stream this is. Oh, I've never seen Mortal Kombat games on this level. Oh, dude, Special Forces? Do you want some fries of that whoop has? <laughs> or the fucking Jack's grab glitching out all the textures for some reason in the emulator? For I remember. Some that. Reason. Oh, the Batman. Tomorrow or whatever for the N64 at the doors. You were there for that oh, one. Oh, for the GameCube. Dude, I love the Batman doors thing so much, I reference it in the mod I just released. What happened with the doors? He couldn't open the door! Batman just can't open the door. <laughs> oh, the Buffy game? Dude, oh man. The Buffy game roleplay, yeah. There's so many good fucking Game Center DS <laughs> memories. Right, I'm gonna go watch some episodes now. Like... I can't- how long did we do that for? What was the- the it was it 2019 or 2020, was it not? When we stopped? What was the very last game? Was it Gold Jagger? It was Sonic 06. It was Sonic 06? Okay. 2020, so yeah, it was four years ago when it ended. And Game Center BS started in 2014, which means it ran for six years. Well, I just love the- we saw the evolution of just, like, the technology streaming during that time. What do you mean? Like, really, just, just like the quality, like, video quality and all that, just emulator quality. PS2 emulation. Oh, yeah. Dude. Retro art wasn't even a thing in the beginning, as far as I know. Yeah, we didn't have uh, a lot of convenient tools. No. I mean, Parsec and like Parsec getting invented yes, <laughs> is sure. what was yeah. what literally extended the show for so long because we did BS replay yep. for for all of the games, and then Kame stepped down and said it was my turn, and I said I'm gonna get us to 1,000 games, and yeah. that'll be Game Center BS. The Iowa Clown from Barbie. I I, I, too, I keep thinking of like maybe I should remake that stage for. Yeah. I I think about like that goal too, and I think it was only it only ever got set because that one person just kept submitting like really bland and or uninteresting games to the website, and I just got bored and tired of cleaning it out. <laughs> and I was just like, you know what? Honestly, it's been going on for so long that we could probably get to one thousand games, and it would be a good stopping point. A thousand, a thousand was a good. And I and I truly do think that that was that was like a really wise decision on my part, anyways. Well, I thought it was um like once Kami retired and just like we should you know, you wanted I thought you always planned on doing a thousand anyway. I think uh, I I told Kame I want to get to at least one thousand because right. I said we retired like a couple hundred short and I was like well we could probably make that and he's like you might have to do that and I'm like yeah that's fine I can get us to at least one th one thousand yeah. and then. And then after all that shit, I was just like, you know what? Um, I'm thinking <laughs> getting to 1,000 would be the ending point because it's just like it's 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 wearing on me finally. Right. We've been doing it for so long, and like any good joke, the punchline has to you know it has to end at some point. And you know, for the final 10 games, you 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 say we're not gonna do the list. We're gonna like do like 10 well-known bad video games we haven't played. Yeah, I think um, that was the best decision I made. 
beyond getting to 1,000, it was going, yeah, once we get to the last 10, we're gonna take it, like, take the reins on it, and we're really gonna pick, like, 10 games that would do that, and then I, and I talked to some people that I know who know bad games, right? and I got them to send in some bad games. You know what's crazy, though? The Zelda CDA games are on this list. They aren't? Nope. Only Hotel Mario was the CDI game. Yep. I remember, uh, thinking to myself, which one would be, like, the most convenient to, to get working? Yeah. And also, which one would, would allow for, you know, the most comedy? And, uh, I remember, I still remember, when I started that stream up and I said, Welcome to the first, uh, first, uh, of the Game Center BS Final 10. And the fucking Philips CDI logo hit the screen, and at least and, and and three different people in the chat went, "Oh no!" at the same time. I would I would ironically play Wu Tang Clan if somebody ever came over and wanted to play fighting games. The Wu Tang Clan game, I am glad we got in there. Um, Bomberman Act Zero, which I ordered in the mail. I had that shipped from my that home. Game for you, sir. You did not. I paid money to get that for you. You did. I had this. I had the receipts. And I purchased that. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, you, you sent it to my home. I did send it to your. And home. I and I got to make that awesome preview video where I sent it to like the 2001 Space Odyssey music. <laughs> as I unwrapped the packaging and, and saw his glory. Somebody just recently did something with the CDI, going back to that, where the Philips logo actually does have, like, re like really bad audio quality. That's actually from the console itself. That's not, like, just bad emulation. It's That's crazy. funny as fuck. But yeah, uh, what else is the final ten? There was Cosmic Race, which was really funny. There was Baby's Day Out, which was, like, its whole... I think the baby yeah we, we we went down that rabbit hole. <laughs> I think Baby's Day Out was honestly more funny for us learning about what that movie was in India than anything the game did. How it's more popular than Star Wars over there. <laughs> that was one of the most surreal uh, research. Uh, oh yeah, Saint Seiya was one of the ten, wasn't it? Oh dude, the Saint Seiya game because this was Rockforge submitted. I actually just picked up. I don't know if it's the exact same one. I picked up Saint Seiya on PS2, the fighting game. Oh, the one that we did? I, I don't know if it's the same one. I don't know if there was only one. I just, I know I got one of them. What else? We did, uh, I'm trying to remember what the other... There's the Wu-Tang, Saint Seiya, Hotel Mario... I know TMNT was planned, the really bad beat-em-up remake, but we never got around to it. We mm -hmm. decided to change it out. Wait, yep, it, does the list have the final 10 on it? Yeah, yeah, it's up to, up to date. Oh, list. it was Bubsy... Bubsy... Bubsy Jaguar. Jaguar Bubsy was one of them. Yeah, Bub, Jub, yeah because um, Dino was on that Dino one. Dino was on that one, he was on Sonic 06 as well. It was the last one. Okay, yeah. Can you link me the list? Which, I want to I look at the games on my own. Uh, let me make a pace band for it real quick. I was, or can uh, I just... Can I just upload the TXT file? You, you can just upload the last 10 games as, as a Discord message. Like, copy the last 10, because... Oh, uh, it's it's alphabet alphabetical on my list. How do you know what the last 10 are, then? I'm going by memory right now. Hold on. Let me check something. Oh, man, I... Yeah, there was, I mean, there was no way I was going to list it in, like, plain order. I, I just did it alphabetical. Yeah, it was there was Saint Seiya, Bubsy, Hotel Mario, Cosmic Race, Bomberman Act Zero, Wu Tang, Baby's Day Out. Oh, what else did we do? We did um. Didn't one of the episodes get lost for the final ten? I think so. It was definitely... it was very fun, though. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, Hotel right. Mario, Bubsy, Wu-Tang, 
One, two, Is three, three four, not, five, oh, six. Okay, there it is. I got scared for a moment there. It's like, why is Game Center BS not coming out when I typed it in YouTube? Oh, was Neo Sonic Godspeed one of them? Or no, that was just... No, it was. Or was that... A... No, you re-uploaded that. Because somebody asked for it. I think it was. It wow, is... you only uploaded two of the games for the Final Ten. Yeah, I remember having Twitch bot issues. It was a fucking hassle to get those up. Are they on your Twitch, though? They might be. Uh, I think a number of them still are saved as videos, but I don't know if I have access to the... Sonic is the last one, or, or Sonic is the least on Twitch, okay. That one was fun because everybody played like once a character got switched out, a guy one of the, one of us got in to play the game. That was actually pretty fun. The biggest day out, Cosmic Rays, Saint Seiya the Hades. Yeah, Sonic 06 is there. Was Skull Jagger one or was that just replayed? I think that was BS replayed for the sake of uh Okay. Those were a lot of fun, though. It's hard to believe it was such a long time ago. I do wish I was better about the VODs back then. I mean, it is what it is. Oh, the Make My Video Games. And Kame actually beaten one of the them. The fact that we beat the, part. um, the Marky Mark one. Oh, the crisscross one is my favorite. With the fucking skeleton, dude. <laughs> oh. That really takes me back, you know? Like... It was definitely fun. I, th I think a lot about how, like... It's like I just think about it. It, it <laughs> ended at, like, just the right time, I think. And everybody's, like... In everybody's mind, I think it, it was like at the perfect time. Can you believe during the time of Game Center BS we saw the Switch come out? I can! That was- we saw the <laughs> Switch and the Wii U come out. Yep. Well, the Wii U was new when Game Center BS was new. Which I can say, not a single Wii U game on this list. But yeah, I I have very fond memories of that time. I was I was still in university for a lot of it. In fact, I think for almost all of it. I thought you were about to say, I think I'm still in it right now. No, but for like almost almost all of it, I want to say I was. Uh... That was also a game that was not on the list, Yandari Simulator. But that you that's because it never. It's, well, no, is it out yet? No. It actually isn't. That's what I'm saying. It's still not out. But, uh... Nah, I think Mario's pretty chill about it. Are you PTSD? I mean, maybe. He's definitely probably a little worried. I can read his little scrimblow eyes, you know. Fuck. Mario says. Mario says. But yeah, um... I was a student for most of Game Center BS. 
<laughs> Remember when you guys did Death's Cargo and the developers told you to take it down? Oh, they, we, they, they didn't tell us. They just took it down. Oh, they just took it down. I was going to say, if they told us, we would have said no. <laughs> uh... Oh, what, do I, what else? Yeah, I was a student for most of it, because I was... Fucking god. I was like right at the end of high school and just starting university for Game Center BS, if I'm not mistaken. And then, uh... I did that, we, we did that pretty much throughout all of my university years. <laughs> now that was a fucking time, man. <sighs> What if Marsh you did the mushroom and got the got hallucination? I I definitely vividly remember so much. Game Center BS happened when you got to see Cloud and Smash Brothers. It was during that yep. moment. Because mm -hmm. we all hung out in that call on that day of yep. and I heard you I heard you play the video so much in your browser that it crashed. Which can't happen apparently, I guess. Also, Banjo got announced too during that time. I think. Uh, yes, because that was 2019. That was uh, during the last year of during the BS replays. Yep. Because we, we had done a reaction stream to it. And I heard Thanks, Kame. Harry. I heard Kame go, oh fuck, when he saw the Jiggy. And I, he, he, I immediately fucking freaked out. You know, the Game Center BS episode reunion is going to be really great. Uh, I remember doing the math for it. I think I was... During the time of Game Center BS, I moved four times, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> that sounds right. You moved four times, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, four times. <laughs> oh, holy shit, Mega Man X2. Says Mario. But yeah, I, I definitely look back at those those days with, with great fondness. This looks really nice. Nice cover. This is a banger. And Mega Man X2 is just a really good game. Never played it. You haven't played X1 either, I bet. I have played X1. No, you haven't. Yeah, I have. You haven't. No, you're right. I played X4. You're right. Oh, am I? No, yeah, yeah, you're right. I have. Yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, because I feel like you've you've told me you haven't played X1 before. No, I, for some reason I was thinking of something. But X I have played X4. X4 is very good. So, yeah. You know, at least you, you're you're in luck that that is a that's a very fucking good game. So I mean, with funny voice acting. Yeah, I that that happened after Game Center BS. That was well after. That was that was like two years. Two years later, let's say it was like not not at the end, but right idea. Now I can't say during the time of Game Center BS, I only went through two jobs. Yeah, because you were Dollar General and then your your current one, right? Yeah, I've been there for eight years. Jesus Christ! You did, Erdor. I really, I I did appre I do appreciate it whenever people do that. I don't know why that made me laugh. What? Who said Ernest Evans? No, just... oh, I'm just I'm reading the list. Oh well, okay. why did I Ernest? I will not get over. Somebody did the sickest artwork, and it's for freaking Ernest Evans. I'm like, are you kidding me? What? Where? Let me see if I can find the artist. Over. It's well, it's not Ernest. Uh, like Ernest Evans is in it, but it's the uh, the series is because I know Ernest Evans is only the second game. 
But I, I remember, um... <laughs> it was, Janice did that art for us. For the fucking Ghost Rider... Toothpaste? Oh, yeah, well. to toothbrush? I... <laughs> oh, I love that. What? Oh my god. What the fuck is this bullshit? Oh, it was, it was quite the... Quite the treat. Those last years. An unforgettable set of memories. And like the amounts of funny stuff that happened like during the show that was like almost not at all related to it. Plumbers don't wear ties. It has a PC port now. We didn't? I don't think so. Oh my god. I think that might have to be, right? Like, we have to, don't we? I almost feel like when, when you say it like that... No, I think we did do plumbers don't wear ties. Oh, you're right, you're right. Yeah, you did, you did. You I was gonna say, I remember that. Must have been one I just forgot. So I'm trying to think of any other like if there's a notable game that we never played that's like really shitty. Um, I think that would be a good way to do another game on the tenth anniversary. Cause I'm 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 really trying to think of like anything that we didn't do. Cause I remember our initial like mantra was like we didn't just want to do like games everybody knows are bad. Right. But at the same time, did we ever actually play Simon's Quest? Or like... Certain other old games. But... Well... Believe it or not, there's only one Castlevania game on our list. Yes, I mean... And it's not Simon's Quest, I can tell you that right now. Now, some people would argue, many historians would argue Simon's Quest is not that bad. You know, I could, I can concede. It's, it's not the worst NES game, that's for sure. It's kind of, it's more confusing than bad. And kind of boring. But, you know... I'm just, like, trying to think of notable games that we... Yeah, Devil May Cry 2 is not on the list. Is that, have a, is that on PC? Yeah, because the HD collection. That game, uh, I don't know. That game is like, I hear that game's as bad as boring. Though. Which, to be fair, is a very valid reason to be bad. But I also don't know if that would be very exciting. Which is a shame because DMC Two has like the best looking Dante design. Yes. You look so fucking cool in that game, and then. Well, at least it was used in uh, Shimagami Tensei that version. Now, D lowercase mc! I don't know. Oh, I do. Actually, after playing that game, I'm like... Is it bad? Yes. Is it game center BS bad? I mean, it's not even terrible, really. It's just got a bad story. It really does have an interesting boss fight in that game, though. I think of another, uh... I think of another notable one. You guys pretty much hit a lot of the big, big ones. Like, you got the Bubsies, you got... I feel like there has to be like a mythical one, you know, like just one that is just very clearly very bad that we just never did. I mean, you don't, you don't have to sell the CDI games. <laughs> See, that would be good. Because the CDI PC remakes do have an OG mode option. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, they're not just better. 
you can you can play like them as like ports of the old games. <laughs> would you would you do Mario Sunshine? <laughs> Honestly, I mean, it wouldn't be me playing it, so I mean, we could. I think that would be pretty funny. Putting Kame through Mario Sunshine, I would be okay with that. That is a BS game. It's not really that bad, but oh, it is BS. Right. At least, you know, when I fucking played it, nothing worked. Like, I don't know, I don't know if you've seen... I don't know if you've seen the clips of me playing Mario Sunshine recently. I have! Oh, I have. I have. They were... Oh, well, I mean, not recent recent, but... Oh, yeah, I mean, I haven't played it recently, but, like, the last time I streamed Mario fucking Sunshine, which, mind you, I think was two years ago at this point. And uh, for record, at the end of that, you said, you know what, it's not terrible. Yeah, I'm impressed at my fucking resilience. I mean, it isn't, really. But it's just, like, I had a a remarkably bad time with that game's engine. And, uh, at the end I concluded, you know, there are definitely far worse video games of, like, an enormous magnitude compared to this. However, this sucks. <laughs> compared to every other 3D Mario. But I do think if, if we do that reunion episode view, I kind of want you to be there too, so I'll try to make sure I let you know. And I'll try to get Dino as well. Because I think he would. But it's just gonna be like a one episode thing, correct? Yes, it's not like a revival. It's not. Yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's just like it's not just like bringing the band back together. It's more like um when you bring a band back together for like another show. Right. Yeah. Which means in another ten years, if we're still uh, around on the internet, <laughs> uh, we could do the Game Center BS twenty year reunion when we're all in our fucking forties and thirties. Ice climbers. Not that I want to picture that, but. Oh my god, you look weird. He does. Yeah, I think Mario Sunshine... Would that be the ending one, or would that be the first? I think that has to be the one at the end. <laughs> like, Mario Sunshine at the end. Quiet Man, King Kong, and, and Gollum. It's four games. I don't know. I, 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 I think Mario Sunshine is... I don't know, man. It'd be pretty funny. I, I think some can easily replace it. Like, especially if you want to do like one of the Zelda CDI games. Oh, better that. Play the worst one. Zelda. Oh, Zelda's Adventure? Yeah. Yeah, Zelda's Adventure. I don't think anybody's remade that. So it'd be no. pretty hard. I mean, we could try. I could try looking I don't, at I don't know how CDI emulation is. I know they found a new secret in it somewhat recently, which is oh yeah, wild to see. Well, it's just like how somebody found um, a Castlevania cheat code in one of the N64 games 25 years later. I think Mario Sunshine at the beginning would be okay, actually. But Zelda's Adventure on CDI would be pretty funny. Making Kame play bad games is part of the point, so I think uh, that one might be yeah, better. Yeah, he, he, he would have fun with Sunshine, let's be real. I'll think about it anyways. Maybe instead of, like, Gollum we could do Mario Sunshine, because Gollum is just an adventure game, is it not? Yes. It's not really like a... Uh... It's, it's more of an action stealth game. Oh, it's got stealth! How bad is it? Bad. Okay. Like, bad, bad. Oh, never mind. Guys, I really want to do Mario Sunshine and Zelda's Adventure. Um... Like, badly enough that... Hmm, I'll have to think about it. I do know CDI Zelda's Adventure would be a good one. Yeah, Charlie's Angels is on this list. Very happy about that, by the way. Bubsy's on here. Fester's Quest is on here. Crazy Bus is on here. I'm, like, going through and just, like, seeing if, like, all the big names are on here. See, at, at about three hours on the stream, I'll probably stop, or close to. Right. 
Like at around 10.35, 10.40-ish. Oh yeah, Kami's reaction to Cliffhanger's Avalanche, that was All the Bubsy games up to that point are on here. Well, I mean, there's the Bubsy Game Boy game, but... Bug Bumble's on here. But yeah, I, I would definitely be down to do an anniversary episode, and Kame has said he was down, so... Speaking of which, he said he was gonna send me the Elgato that he has he doesn't use anymore, so I can stream Thousand Year Door it. Uh, at, a, at a better display resolution, so I'm gonna hit him up for that tonight and send him my, wow. my address so he can ship it to me. Or actually, I can ask if he still has it. Because he, he shipped me back something else, and I paid I can, the shipping. Uh, I can see you my snowball if you need a microphone. I do not, but it would be really fun to get a second snowball. <laughs> Hooters Road Trip! Oh my god! Hooters Road Trip! Oh! That actually got that actually has a copyright claim on it, or because of the meat. Whoa! The fucking, uh, the Florida postcard? With the gator. Oh, dude, who knows road trip? I cannot believe we played that game for that long. Oh, hey, Dino Rex is on here before it blew up. I mean, Game Center BS, I want to say, was pretty ahead of its time. Not because it was innovative to play bad video games on the live stream, but because, like... I don't know. It was decently okay. popular as far as our streams went, too, to be honest. We usually pulled in about, like, 10 to 30 viewers every time. People really like Game Center BS. I'm proud of that. My regular streams nowadays get up to like 10, 20, 30. You've gotten 100 before. Yeah, when I get rated. Yes. But like, I usually get around like 9 or 10 people, and I'm cool with that. Alright, Final Fight Streetwise on here, that's right. Which I'll maintain that game's not terrible, it's hilarious. As far as I can tell, uh, Twitch doesn't log every single person watching, they just log active chatters. I think people just kind of sit in my streams and hang out, and I'm kind of cool with that. Oh yeah. I'm super, super fucking cool with that. I've gotten to the point with mine now, like, it, well, I don't know, because this tells me there's two, but nobody's ever talking, so I know at least it's picking up on something, like, people are watching. Yeah. I don't know. Not a big deal. Growth is a growth is a lie. Growth is a lie. Epic Super Mario RPG reference. You're so right. Proto Trick. John Cena's sexy high school adventure. Now that that was something. I definitely also think that like. Having a more regular stream schedule would help. I need to really nail that down. I'm, I'm getting the four a days a week generally for streams. I've been doing better with mine too. I need to start, what I really need to do beyond like having a schedule that's consistent, I don't need that so much as I need like, I need to make a template image that just like logs my stream schedule. And basically yeah. all I do is that every week I'll, I'll edit it and then post it like this week's streams are whatever, right? On this day. And this time, and that way people know. And I can put that on Twitter, and that's like a really easy way to get it out there. What I've been doing is recently, and I've been trying to stick with it, is I'm just sticking with one game until I'm done with it, rather than like bouncing between games. That's kind of how I am, outside of like certain project things. Like with ARPA, I'm doing like the Mario RPGs. Right, and, right. But like, I did Goemon 2 for a bit, I got kind of bored of it. I didn't want to beat it, mm. to be honest. But and then I was doing all the Metroidvanias and I did all them. Now I, I don't know what to do on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, what games have you mentioned before? I know you mentioned y uh, Yakuza. Yeah, Yakuza Zero. I have to play. Um, which maybe that would be fun to start. What else have you mentioned? The Yakuza games I hear are very good. 
some... The Cruise of Zero is huge, though. It's gonna take me forever. Oh, I know. It's... I've, I've looked into it myself because I've been interested in Yakuza 2 and I'm like... That's the thing is that it's just like such a big game. I'm scared. I'm sure it's a fantastic game. I had to play Neverhood. My friend bought me that for my birthday last year. Uh -huh. And I, I, I mean, there's the, that. also the Pizza Tower DLC if you wanted to do that. I played with the noise for a bit. I wasn't super fucking with it. He's cool, but... Uh, oh, okay. I don't know. I don't like that, like, the level music gets replaced with songs that I don't like as much. <laughs> I think that's kind of a bummer. Plus, you can also do, uh, plus R streams every once in a while if you wanted to. I feel really strongly about streaming that game nowadays, to be honest. Not even because I get angry at it or anything, but because, like, I don't know, a lot of people don't like having their... Their matches streamed live. Mm. And I don't want to poke the hornet's nest in that regard. I gotcha. And I also think, like, whatever I'm thinking in the moment I'm playing, sometimes I say it, and it's not all. It's not really bad, it's just also, like... You know, I, I, I want to keep it's, that It's shit. one of those things that you just say as you think it without, like, it. I get it. Yeah, I keep that salt to myself. I don't want to put that out in the open, because it's really... Really not what I would do if I was in a voice call with somebody or at a local event, like at a, at a fighting game event. Oh my god, am I hearing the next DSP here? Oh yeah. <laughs> I was blocking! I got out of that. I did really think about that when I was streaming Melty. Like, that perspective, like, oh, maybe people don't want their... I, I don't want, want their matches match streamed, because, like, yeah. there's no real way to communicate to them that you're doing that. Right. The one time I did stream Melty Blood, though, like, just a bunch of people came in and said, Hey, you, do you want to get in a room and play together? I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. So we got, like, five people. To get... At that point, I was fine, because everybody knew. Well, yeah, that's different. When you do, like, open lobbies, I guess I could do that, but... Ugh, we'll see. Maybe one day in the future. But I think Yakuza 0 and Neverhood are on my list. I think I need to do that. Neverhood might be first, because it's pretty short. I could probably beat that in one stream. Well, I mean, at least you got, um, you know, Paper Mario coming out pretty soon. And then Yakuza 0, I could probably start. Oh, well, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Uh, I am confirmed to be writing the review for that. For, for the website. Um, but... Look at this, look at this big shot. That also means that I have to beat the game off stream, too. Mm. To, you know, get... To write the review, not not. Like, I don't think I'm getting an early copy, but I think you you know what I mean. I have to play the game basically. I can't just put it off and do it like oh every Sunday, because by the time uh, I'd finish yeah. it, the review would be out in a month. Yeah, and that wouldn't be very helpful. Nah, nowadays you got the reviews. So the unfortunate news about that is that like the only person whose reactions are going to be the absolute first time playing is Arpa. But I think that's okay. I don't think people mind that too much. But it does mean I'll probably have finished the remake off stream before I beat it on stream. Right. But as long as people are fine with that, I, I would be more than happy to stream it every Sunday. Get that bag. I got, I got for me personally, I just got so many games that I could stream. That's me too. It's impossible to pick, so I think I'm just gonna lock in on Neverhood and uh, y Yakuza Zero. And another thing is, I'm such a big RPG guy. I got so many RPGs, and I'm like, I gotta mix it up with something that's not an RPG. Which I mean, that's why I'm doing Frog Gun currently. Oh shit! The song again. That's really weird that they showed up in two different hacks that I played today. <laughs> Oh, yeah, my back. I shrunk down my backlog currently to 300 games at the very least. I don't... I mean, I have a quote-unquote backlog, but I don't keep track. I just remember when I want to play another game again, you know? Right. I think it's better that way. I, I kind of like having a list of games and getting it randomly picked from time... Like, I do like doing that. Ba -da 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 -da. But I shrunk that list, so... If I like God Hand, you might want to check out Sifu. I have... 
literally never played God Hand. I mean, I've seen God Hand. I've heard the music from That's, God Hand. God Hand is on my backlog. But like, I, I'm so bad at 3D action games. That's another thing I want to do. I want to play the DMC games. You do or you don't? I do. I think people would. I think people would maybe enjoy or hate me playing those games because I. Uh, <laughs> I think you'll be all right until DMC three is when people will start getting upset with you. What? I mean, it does mean I have to play DMC two, which will be a very funny stream when that happens. Not uh, technically, because DMC three is the earliest in timeline. If you wanted to go that. Way. I. Why would I stream that first? I fear that game is hard. Why would I do that? I would play the first one first. <laughs> No, you get an easy mode after dying a couple times. No, I'm good, dude. <laughs> but no more heroes? That'd be another one that'd be pretty fun to do. I respect no more heroes and... Oh I think God, I would probably get really tired of the mini games in between the levels. Mm. And the grinding elements. I don't think I'm ever a fan of those in action games. It's part of why I just could not fucking play Scott Pilgrim again after all those years. I was like, this is the game that made me want to get a PS3. Mind you. Not even kidding, nice. by the way. I no, got- I, I bugged- I, I, I bugged my family members. My mother so much when I was younger at that point. Because I was like, I, I want to play the Scott Pilgrim. I didn't even know what the fuck Scott Pilgrim was. I just knew what River City Ransom was, and I knew that game looked like River City Ransom. Uh... And I was like, I want to play I mean, play luckily, that. that game got a re-release now, so it's on PC and all Yeah, that. it's like, it's kind of okay. I think there's definitely worse beat-em-ups than that game, but it's... Uh... It's definitely shown its age. Uh... Yeah, I guess in a way you can say that. Okay. It's complicated. It's complicated. It, it's Is it the like... subject matter? No, it's just the game. No. It's just not... Okay. Death Stranding, are you kidding? That game is cool, but that does not have, like, the vibes of a T5 stream. Like, Yakuza 0 is a long game, but that does have the vibes of a T5 stream, you know? Mm. It's an action game. It's pretty quick, pretty fast-paced. You know, it's got guys doing shit. That's what it's all about. Death Stranding is like you walk around, and you deliver packages, and there's, like, I mean, I don't even own a copy of Death Stranding. That game is, like, an experience. I don't think that game is, like, what I would want to stream. I don't think I would. I don't think my streamer dynamic would work extremely well with Death Stranding. So T, of... you know how for a little bit there you were uh, going through RPGs that are like kind of major RPGs, you know, Chrono Trigger, FF7. Would you do Undertale? <laughs> that would take me an hour because I would just get the pacifist ending and beat the game. <laughs> a little more than an hour. I think you could do it on a whole stream. I I would, I would literally take me under an hour. Undertale is not a long game, dude. It's not. It's the not only not. reason anybody ever, like, get, have a blazing chrome, oh god, running gun? No, maybe. Uh, but I definitely think, um, for now, I want to focus on Neverhood and Yakuza 0, because those games are bought for me. The time I right. actually played them. I'm hoping Frog Gun doesn't take me that much longer, you know, to... Like, I hope I'm not going to be done with that game and then, you know, Paper Mario's out. Hopefully I have some time in between, but we'll see. Paper Mario, I'm really excited for, though. I, I am I am unbelievably thrilled to play that game. I'll have to get used to the frame rate, even though I don't hate the fact that it's 30. But, like, once my eyes adjust to it, it's probably over. Because I played, I played Thousand Year Door so much. But looking at the preview videos, I am, I am fucking so excited. It looks so beautiful in motion. I mean, I had fun experiencing an RPG, so I'm, I'm hoping Thousand Year Door is gonna be just as much, much fun. I think you'll like it. The writing is very good. Um, I would say it's a bit less jokes per second than Mario RPG, but it's definitely like really, really well handled. Fucking right. Christ, dude. And I did promise I would do FF6, uh, FF6 Pixel Remaster this year. Oh man, I mean that's gonna be that's that's gonna be such a good time because that's just FF6 with a lot of the bugs fixed. Right, and, 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 and admittedly, it's been it's been a it's it's been a high time since I replayed six. I'm so glad that somebody still remembers when I first streamed my second thousand year door from my disc and it soft locked at the final boss. I remember that. Oh, that oh my is, god. Yeah, I, it got to the cutscene 
where the bombs were like in the cannon cheering for for Mario or something. Like the bombs that like the this is some fucking garbage level design right here. Here's the Kaizo. <laughs> what were you cooking? There we go. And I guess I did mention Link to the Past at some. Oh man, I I don't make much requests, but I want to be on for that. I gotta hear you fight Moldorm. Oh my god. There, I wanna... Yeah, that was, that was one you mentioned you would like to be on. I feel like that was another game I mentioned you said you wanted to be on for that I can't recall. This, this is just... What the fuck is this? Okay. If any more ways for me to die without giving me a mushroom? You can tell we're near the end of the stream. And the only other thing I can think of is the next Disgaea game, but I, I just got done with Seven, so I'm not in the mood for Disgaea just yet. So I think Disgaea is a, is a franchise that's permanently cursed. I don't think I'll ever be able to beat a Disgaea game. I think they are just too exhausting. Understandable. I don't even think they're bad, they just go on way too fucking long. I think they could end in like 30 less hours. Well, okay, here's the thing. If you know what you're doing and grind just for the story, you can get through them pretty quickly. It pretty quickly in the sky language is like... You, you can. Like, if you know the grind spots, you can get through the story pretty quickly. Because you only have to be a little over 100 to be fine. That is... That's a fucking huge number! What, level 100? This is a series with 9,999! Unless you're talking about 6, then it's more than that, which is ridiculous. But this guy is just exhausting. <laughs> what? You can give exhausting. Just like yeah, I was about to... Thank you, you stole it. Like, yeah, I'm just, like, looking through my list of games, and I'm like, yeah, I could play Shantae. I got that. I wouldn't mind playing that game. I think Link to the Past would be really fun. I do have Link to the... I, I remember mentioning it, and I do have... A I think we should do that together. Maybe we could do that instead of the RPG Maker games on Wednesday if you wanted to start Link to the Past. That depends on what you want, though. But I would just do a Neverhood stream uh, Wednesday morning or something. And I could beat the game. I mean, no, I mean, don't let me take you away from your stream. No, no, it wouldn't. I would just do the stream in the morning. But I'm just, I'm just, I'm just letting you know that I have been streaming in the afternoons now. Rather than yeah, that's morning. fine. But like at four o'clock on Wednesday, you could do Link Never to the Past about if you want. Donkey Kong 60. I think T did do Donkey Kong 64 not too long ago. Uh, the only way I would play Donkey Kong 64 on stream is with the tag. The Switch Anywhere mod. Yeah, that, yeah, that's the version you did, yeah. I think it's been updated since then. That would be pretty fun. But, uh, yes, I have thought about it. And I have a couple RPG Maker games from people I know that I would like to Donkey Kong 64 yeah. is a game. I think it is overhated, but I think if I was ever going to play it again, I would play the version that makes it faster. It's honestly, the collect-a-thon aspect's not what's getting me. It, it, it's, just, it's just tagging out. Yeah, funny enough. And, like, that patch fixes that, so it's like, well... Right. Pretty goaded game. Like, does Donkey Kong Country 64 have, like, a lot of collectibles? Yeah, but, like, it's not something that's a detriment to me, personally. It's just taking the time to go switch out a Kong. It's the, it's the specific items that requires the specific Kong that really gets me. Like, even though I'm looking at a green banana, why do I have to be a specific Kong to collect a green banana? And if you're gonna make me be a specific Kong, can you at least make it easy for me to... What the fuck? You didn't fucking turn around. Oh, God. And personally, personally, given the option, I probably would rather play Banjo than Donkey Kong 64. Oh, yeah, I mean, even, even with the patch, Banjo, I think, is a better game. Even Banjo too. Everybody seems everybody goes really hard on that game for some reason, but I think that game is perfectly fine, despite the the frame rate. I would play that on Xbox if you had had the choice in the matter. I got the 360 version of. Uh, I purchased it before it shut down. Oh yeah, that happened too, didn't it? Yeah. I, I, is it still up or is it just about to shut down? I don't remember. 
about the same. I don't think no, that is uh, true. No, 360 is up till July. The end of July. I do not think that is true at all. I mean, Banjo Tooie has the character like split pads, but I don't think that is like remotely in the same realm. I think like. Well, okay. Here's the thing, too. If you do feel that way, Banjo has two. Whereas Donkey Kong 64 has five kids. Has five? And, like, the bananas are different colors. That's like if the music notes did that. <laughs> Which they don't. Banjo-Tooie's biggest thing is that... though, then yes. Banjo-Tooie's biggest thing, though, is that some of the jiggies are really fucking involved. Like, really, really, really long. Where I don't think there's, like, a golden banana in Donkey Kong 64 that's, that's well, like that. Well, doesn't Tooie have a lot of situations where it's, like, a thing within a thing you gotta do? Uh, a lot of interconnected world stuff, because, uh, the okay. whole game, the whole game's... The gimmick of that game is that every level kind of connects to each other, almost. Okay. So, like, getting a Jiggy in the mine area might have you doing something in... In the, uh... In the, in the temple world, and then you, you go over to the mine through the temple world. There's a lot of that. Because I know my first experience, really, with Tui was when I was on your streams for that a couple of years back. Like, it's definitely a very, very... It's a game with a lot of uh, elaborate jiggies and pretty involved collectibles sometimes, but I wouldn't call it, like, tedious in the same way. I don't recall that game having a lot of backtracking. Uh, right. kinda, but not like I a ton, don't. not like too much. Usually okay. it's when you get like a new move. Mm. Uh, you've got a... Like Metroidvania-esque? Kinda, yeah, but like a little bit longer. Mm. This level is going on forever. Can I... Heck you. I don't know why he wouldn't grab that. It was some kind of invisible I... sprite limit. Do gotta get back to Streets of Rage 4 at some point. See, that is something we could do together. Unfortunately, it doesn't have crossplay. Oh, I, got the I don't want to go find the secret exit, so I think that's the stream for me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. Do I raid the person playing Stellar Blade, a game I have made fun of every time I stream? In a... <laughs> Why did you make fun of Stellar Blade? Or do I raid my friend FGC Stone, who got second at Texas Showdown? What do you think? I think you should probably do the... If, if they just won Texas Showdown, or second place, I think you should do that one. Oh, are you sure you don't want me to grade the Stellar Blade stream? I, I think... don't know what you think about Stellar Blade, other than hard R. That's it. I, all I know about that game is that the Nikkei people made it. Let's hoardy. Oh! I could, I could have told you that with a trailer. Let, came me, out. let me see what's going on in that stream. Oh, it's over. It just ended. That's helpful. I guess that means that that really does eliminate any other possible choice. Go ahead and go. Go fucking give this guy a hard time. Tell this guy he plays Johnny and he smells like an armpit. Gross. Anyways, uh, that'll be it for me, everyone. Have a great evening. I will see y'all later. Take care.